Welcome back, Gumshoes. The thing I want to talk about today is not a subject people normally like to talk about. It's time. It's not about time. It is time. The subject is time. Some people tell me, Striker, time is the one constant in this world. It just moves forward, with or without you. You have to keep up or keep ahead. Some people say, Striker, time's an illusion. It doesn't matter what you do, it just does whatever it wants. But Gumshoes, here's what I think. Time is something to be valued. Something to be stretched and folded and thrown out, if need be. Because here's the thing, Gumshoes. I'm sitting here in the grittiest, dirtiest city in North America. And I look out this dirty, grimy window, and all I see is sunshine, rainbows, lollipops, children running and playing and screaming in the breeze. Screeching with, with joy, you know, like children do. But when I connect with Inspector Jinx, all I see is a somewhat dimmed sky and 10 p.m. So I'm not quite sure what I'm trying to get out here, Gumshoes. The point is that time is malleable. It can be putty in the right hands. I'm getting to a crosshair, don't you worry. I love reading a good crosshair paragraph because crosshair has a itchy trigger finger but a steady hand great in a firefight not so great at darts <laughs> nothing personal there I was again in a familiar situation bottle half full and rifle half empty targets closing in and with the basic math I look Thank you very much, Krister. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> ah. Evening to you, graspy loot. Welcome to everyone. All right, gumshoes. It's not often I advocate cult like behavior, but everybody do your best PKJ blank. Ready? Three, two, one. How am I doing? <laughs> Gumshoes, it's incredible to see you. To sum up what I was getting at here, time, it waits for nobody. Your vets, are, th those are really good. Those are, those are incredible. See, I thought mine was good. Those are, look at this, someone's doing a double. <laughs> the double PKJ blank. My God, there's blank everywhere. <sighs> Some days, Gumshoes, I think to myself, what if, instead of solving the crimes, I was the one reporting on the crimes, being um, some sort of journalist type. <laughs> oh, crosshair. No, it needs to point to your ears, tilt the other way. Less disapproving, more blank. But good, I like the face, keep it. <laughs> Gumshoes, it's so incredible to see you all here this afternoon. I, or evening, or morning, or whatever the hell you're supposed to be. <laughs> God, there's blank everywhere. That's right. Hmm. Pulled fanboy. I too am a fan of pulled pork, fanboy. But you see, pulled pork isn't easily come by these days. Not after the great pork robbery of 32. You see, You see, fanboy and Eric Wayne. That was one of the first cases I was ever assigned to as chief inspector. They needed um, a pinch hitter, as it were. Someone to come in and really show them the ropes, you know. Because my inspectors and my, my patrolmen kept coming to me. They said, oh, we've looked all around the farm. We're just, just missing the hogs. There used to be hundreds of hogs. Now there's none. What's going on? 
Turns out, the secret was in the sauce. And of course I mean that literally. The, the hog thief had stolen them, sold them, and then slaughtered them for, yeah, you, we get it. Pulled pork. You know, they used to call me Pulled Pork. Chief Inspector Pulled Pork Striker. Pulled Pork, of course, refers to... Never mind. You know what? Just let's not. <laughs> let's not even go there. So, gumshoes. I hope everybody's feeling all right today. As per what I was saying before, it's important to remember that time, it's not so much an illusion. Oh, damn interrupting raiders. You're right. Damn it, Crosshair. You're correct. Okay, I'll get, no, no. Time first. See, see, this is when time becomes important. Time first, Crosshair second. No, no offense. Time isn't just an illusion. Time isn't something just to keep up with. Time is an opportunity. Everything that you do takes time from you. But you can also make it for yourself. You can say to yourself, no commitments, no responsibilities. I want to make time for some fun. I want to make time to solve this crime. Jenks is under the gun trying to solve this crime before midnight because then it'll be Saturday or Monday or whatever. Oh, I'm in Jenks. I set myself an arbitrary deadline. Do -do 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 -do. That's what British people sound like. <laughs> but you, gumshoes, you can take all the time in the world if you want it. And whether it's bright, sunny children playing, whoa, look at my hand, it's disappearing into the golden light. Whether you have children playing and screeching with joy outside your window, or it's rainy, dark, and cold, Take the time you need to do the things you need to do for yourself. Thank you very much for coming to my striker talk. Uh, there I was again in a familiar situation. Oh, I read the targets closing in with the basic math I learned back in the academy. I knew the bullets didn't equal the bodies. As I took one long last drink from the bottle of Jack, all I could think was, I wish, I just wish that you'd stop narrating our damn stealth missions out loud, striker. <laughs> Oh, Crosshair. Remember that time we got caught out in Morocco? Because <laughs> I wouldn't stop talking? <laughs> hey, ho, ho. <laughs> Striker, don't say anything. I gave him the side eye. Poof! <laughs> I glanced up. Where had that bullet come from? Poof! <laughs> Another one sailed past my skull. They were getting closer. <laughs> Warmer. They're getting closer. Oh, my God. <laughs> Gumshoes, you're not here for me. You're here for Inspector Jinx. <laughs> wow! I am so good at what I do. All right, here we go. Now, I, I think, I think we need a little bit of a recap. Oh boy! Oh jeez, I have forgotten about all this. <laughs> oh my gosh! Ah! Oh, Methodio, you will be. You're not going to be sorely mistaken. You're not going to be. You're not going to be disappointed, because Jenks is his own man, and I mean that in the most disparaging sense. Oh, good. Okay, good. Crosshair. That's what I like to. That's what I like to hear. Methodio. There will be no Code Phelps, unfortunately, because this defaced sports car photo, uh, notwithstanding, this is the smallest village, and I can. We can navigate through it in about five seconds on foot. One of the people even told us he bikes because he doesn't have his car, or he can only get to work by biking or some bullshit. I don't know. What are these English villages? I want a damn car chase! How are we going to catch the murderer if we're not chasing them? Uh, as always, Gumshoes, let me know if you can uh, hear and see what uh, is happening to you in front of you. And let me know, Gumshoes, if you ever have any thoughts. Oh, Chief Inspector Stryker, did you think maybe it's the vampire and his douchebag son? <laughs> yes, I did. So, we had our... Va <laughs> uh, okay, well... Uh... Sure it does, Crosshair. <clears throat> one per one car and one house per person, other than old, Ma old Lady Maple, who lives at the end of the lane. She has no car and three house. Hmm. Why can't I have no car in a three house? 
Uh, how would I get between my houses? <clears throat> Ryan's car, this absolutely compensating red sports car, if I've ever seen one, it <laughs> stealing life force through black mirrors. It's true, Kaiser. Kaiser, real vampire or not? So, this um, red sports car that is obviously intended for compensating was vandalized by one Lisa Blint. Unfortunate name, but we're, you know, we're going to have to, we're just going to have to go with it. So, Lisa claims that Atlas are devil worshippers. Wow, that's a pretty lofty accusation. Not that I disagree with you. Why do you think so, Lisa? Well, they made me look in mirrors, and now I see demons everywhere. Holy shit, Lisa, that's terrible. Oh, Lisa just has psychological troubles, Ryan and Paul. Hmm, interesting. No truth. No interest in the occult. Lies. Um, <laughs> Atlas do use some disturbing techniques. <laughs> ah, yes, but the incident prompted them to introduce an aptitude test. <clears throat> oh, me too, Crosshair. Crosshair. In all honesty, most of the mysteries I research are purely natural. And, you know, kind of cruel, frankly. You've got people, uh, you know, killing each off in each other. you got people cheating on each other. you got people trying to steal each other's inheritances. It's pretty mundane. A good demon mystery? Now that's a straw in my soda. What does it mean? Who cares? <clears throat> the Atlas Aptitude Test. We asked Simon and Emma and Rebecca and Paul. We have not... Interesting. We haven't spoken to James, but he wouldn't know about it. Wonder who's in the pub. <gasps> Holy shit, it's the pub! Let's go! As always, let me know if you can hear what's going on. <gasps> oh. Subtitle, sorry, it's coming in. So it's going to be that kind of evening, is it? Only if you did all. Problems? Hello, Inspector. See you later. Oh, Methodial, if only you knew. Ooh, subtitles on full oh shoot no hang on sorry no full nope did i screw it up no we're good <laughs> we're good <laughs> sorry about that gumshoes forgot it's a very strange situation here well 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 what did we just see is the question so it was Impossible to hear, but, you know, Jenks isn't so good at the whole listening situation. He's much better at the whole, you ever seen one of these situation? But it would appear that Ryan and his wife, Rebecca... Uh, so, look, I'm no expert in relationships, obviously. But either Rebecca's a little angry at him about something, or their, relationships involves, their relationship involves a little light slapping, perhaps? She said something about telling Simon... Oh, shit! Oh, my God. Thank you very much. I'll just go rummage around in here. Jenks. Oromo Oromorph. Well, isn't that interesting? I thought she didn't take any drugs. Oh, he was so bad with the... Crosshair, that was the most frustrating thing I think I've ever seen in the line of duty. Oh, oh no, I'm a police officer. He's got a bag over my head. What do I do? Flail wildly. Oh, he took the bag over my head. Good, chase down the perp. <gasps> he left something. What are you doing? Chase down the perp, kick his ass. Hello, Rebecca. What did we... Uh... Prescriptions made out to Rebecca were found in a cupboard in the pub. Now, if I recall correctly... Shut up. I'm trying to solve a mystery. <laughs> it's on the outside. Don't worry about it. Um, where? Doesn't take any drugs or medicines. Oromorph is a liquid form of morphine. Holy shit. 
grief of long term or chronic breathlessness. Well, Crosshair, uh, Jenks sure knows how to take my breath away. Out of you know, so maybe I need some Oromorph. I saw the letters in Oromorph, and I was thinking to myself something to do with mirrors, and I was like, oh my god, no. A few more questions, if you don't mind. The cupboard downstairs, there's a lot of unopened stuff in it. Is that? Prescriptions. Made out to you. Oh. They're just spare painkillers. The chemist always gives us too many, he's a friend of the family. Come choose, correct me if I'm wrong. In order to fill a prescription, you... <laughs> Aragorn. Oh no, it's true! Ah! <laughs> This'll help you with your death! Oh my god! That's horrible. Okay. Oh god. I don't want Rebecca to be in on this. I mean, I know she is. Unless... Unless... Ryan's affair with Emma is something she knew about and was okay with. Oh, God. Oh, Ryan and his father were going after all the young ladies. <laughs> Chemist is a friend of the family. That doesn't sound... So, so anyway, I understand there's a contradiction here. We know we know what this is, but... Um, gumshoes. A chemist or a pharmacist uh, would fill a prescription in the amount suggested or prescribed by the doctor. Whoops. I poured out a few too many. Come on. That's not how that works. Oh, yes. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, you know, I poured out quite a few. So uh, here, just take the extras. Free of charge. Nope. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. So, you don't take any medicines except for prescription painkillers. This guy. Well, they're not actually for me. They're Ryan's. Um, for some reason, the chemist always makes them out to my name. He's a, an old gentleman. Does Ryan need prescription painkillers? Yes, he's got arthritis. Really? He's young to suffer from that, isn't he? He doesn't have it badly, but he does need medication from time to time. What medicine is it? I can tell you, to be honest. Ryan will know. Mm, good answer. So Ryan's the one using the prescriptions. I think I might have a word with him, work out exactly what this medicine is. Once again, Gumshoes... Jenks' obliviousness and gullibility is shocking, frankly. Oh, well, Rebecca says she doesn't know what's in them, and they must be for Ryan's arthritis. It must be true. This is, as per the Crosshair and Aragwen, excuse me, gumshoes, these, these are, these are opioids. <laughs> this is, yeah, exa exactly, Crosshair. Drives a sports car, drinks like there's no tomorrow, has time for a hustle in which is he hustles young people out of their money and their, you know, free will, and bad <laughs> <laughs> chemist. <laughs> oh, Mr. Barclay. <laughs> You're always mixing me up with my husband. Oh, I, I got to hear that some morphine. Incredible. Well, I guess we have to go speak to him about it now. I just don't. Yeah, Ryan suffers from arthritis, and um, Ryan plays guitar in his room. I guess you can have arthritis and still play the guitar. Yeah, I'm gonna assume so too, Methodio! <laughs> Evil Anna. My one nemesis. Welcome. Thank you for dropping in on Story Saturdays, Method Mondays. Who knows? I'm just filling in anyway. Um. Okay. Prescriptions for Ryan. <laughs> Atlas has some trouble with unsuitable students. Thank you. Probably be okay. <laughs> Come on, Ryan. Or is it Ibiana? I think it is. Investigate down behind the pub. Well, maybe later. Eh, I'm sure there's 
plenty to do here. Ooh, 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 the hall, the village hall. No, shit, not the woods. No, go back. <laughs> go back to the junction. <laughs> uh, anything at the end of this path? No, what a surprise. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I love it. Uh, I just want to see if there's anyone here in the hall. <gasps> nope. All right. Jenks and I are both old school. We like to check everything every hour or so just to see if anyone... Well, I mean, at the rate this village is going, people are just appearing every which way. It's horrible. I... Yeah, no, exactly, Aragwen. I, You know, I wonder who's at the pub. Open the door. There's Ryan and Rebecca having a lovely little weird argument. I don't know. Oh, 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 we should talk to Simon then, shouldn't we? Yeah, really strange. Hmm. Oh my god. Simon, you dropped your key. Simon, you dropped your key. Don't let Jenk steal your shit. Bit careless, Simon. Probably nothing important, but at this stage, I need all the clues I can get. <laughs> oh, I'm sure he's just stealing. We have no reason to believe. What is this? It's just a key ring. You couldn't do anything. Gumshoes, we, at this point, we had literally no re- Well, I guess we have a reason to suspect Simon only in the sense- <laughs> I thought so too, um, actually. Oh uh, yeah, Neon, I know. Jenks needs all the help he's gonna get. Gumshoes, I just- I just don't know what to say. At this point, Jenks is just stealing things from people. Oh, this is gonna be really useful. <laughs> what is this? Aztec. Not a bad name. Um, managing director, Dean Hayfield. Oh, good, Puka Jutsu. And Puka Jutsu, I see you're, you've got your finest mustache and your finest notebook. Both of those are very important gumshoes. Just because I don't have a mustache doesn't mean you shouldn't. Aragorn, get on it. All right. <clears throat> now, do we confront Simon about the card and the ring? No, because he's going to take them back. So we're going to return here momentarily, but first, we're going to go to Atlas. Hopefully, we're going to get stolen away by some sort of creepy cult. <clears throat> Perfect. Aragorn, see? Easy peasy. And I bet it looks super cute. Ah, that cat mug staring into my soul. Ah. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Whoa! Indiana, that's incredible. J specifically because because dogs, stuffed or no, tend to have fur all over their bodies, not just on the facial regions. All right, let's check this reading room again. More like cult murder room. Yeah. Nothing. All right. Well, that's been fun. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Ryan. A uh, few more questions, if you don't See, mind. at this point, look, I'm I'm obviously not, uh, you know, a criminal in this situation. Well, I've, I've done my fair share of illegal activities in order to catch criminals, so I like to think it balances out, karmically speaking. <laughs> oh, he has extra in the mustache. Okay, I, I understand, Eviana. Thank you. Thank you. I understand now. Gumshoes, if this were me... Uh, there's no reason to believe that this one inspector would be on a deadline, but I, if I was trying to hide something, one, I would communicate with my conspirators, uh, <laughs> and two, I would stop talking to the inspector. Whoop, I went to bed. It's 10.30. Have you seen this before? <laughs> ha. Ah. <laughs> All right, Ryan. We have things to ask you. Do you know what the medicine in the cupboard at the pub is for? 
You'd better ask Rebecca about that. I'm not exactly sure what's in there. She tends to keep her wares under lock and key. That's not. They're for you. you. Know, our wedding night was quite a surprise. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I'm surprised Jenks didn't write that down. <laughs> Rebecca keeps the cupboard locked. Rebecca and Ryan had quite the wedding night. Bleh. <laughs> this is horrible! So, it's funny that you mention that the contents of the cupboard belong to Rebecca, because what about your arthritis? Tell me about your arthritis. <laughs> why is he oh, yelling? He found out about that. <laughs> That's why I drink well, so yes. much. Huh? I'm old before my time. <laughs> Perhaps it's all those deals you made with the devil. To have it so young. Well, I take a lot from life, <laughs> Inspector. And Agreed. Class here. Yeah, it's quite the surprise. A little bit back. I mean, it's not too bad. It's not too debilitating. It's mainly uh, some in my right hand, some in my left hand. It's not particularly a problem. Uh, makes it difficult to hold small things, though. What do you take for it? I uh, get a prescription painkiller. How often do you need that? Not often. As and when, as and when. I keep some here. I keep some at home. It's not a problem. My favorite part, of course, is, uh, yeah, <laughs> Eviana, you and me, we're on the same wavelength. Gumshoes, get on this wavelength. <laughs> I haven't held my penis in decades. Can't hold small things, you see. And then he basically winked. It was horrible, poker jutsu. I hate it. <laughs> Yikes. Well, I like that everybody's on the same page. You know what? You, okay, you two be on that wavelength. Eviana and I will be on the same wavelength, okay? Here's the wavelength. Ready? My right hand, my left hand. Yeah, we fucking know. <laughs> <clears throat> so, uh, contents of the cupboard belong to Rebecca. So, either she's lying or he is. But, of course, we can't confront him with her evidence or her with his evidence. Horrible. Uh, however, I will say... He did... He did say somewhere about him being a. Uh, he dabbles in playing the guitar, but he has arthritis in his hands. No, I okay. Not really a contradiction, I guess. <laughs> Neon. Uh, I felt all the time that um, this was inappropriate. I um, I felt violated. Four out of five stars. Really good. Good mystery. Okay. Um, have I seen one of these? Know anything about this? No, I can't uh, see it no, from there. No, I'm sorry. We, we have our own IT chap. <gasps> Lovely chap, in fact. Uh, fat and sweaty, though. <laughs> it's like a double act, doesn't it? <laughs> hmm. Rude, cruel, and totally unnecessary. Atlas have their own IT consultant. He's fat and sweaty, though. Like, why? What is this? Before. No, why? No, he can't sorry. see anything. Okay, great. What does it even do? St. Bernard de, M de Menthon. Ooh. Mm, I love a good menthon. You know, like... Like menthon cigarettes. Okay. So that was horrible. Um... <laughs> I'm sorry you had to sit through that, Gumshoes, but you know, in our line of work, Gumshoes, sometimes you have to sift through the sewage in order to find the gold nugget at the bottom of the river. I think that was a gold panning metaphor, but I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> okay, Gumshoes, weigh in. Who is worse? Ryan, the self-proclaimed leader of Atlas, piece of shit, uh, daddy's boy, or Daddy Paul? who is just literally a psychopath. Uh, <laughs> an excellent question. He doesn't keep any medicines on sight. Ha! Ho! Aragorn. Aragorn, you're good. You got you're making the connections so, here. You don't keep any medicines on sight at Atlas. No. Except your prescription painkillers. Well, these are not available to the students. But they are kept I agree, on Crosshair. Yes, but they're locked away. They're kept in storage. Nobody would have access. You're sure about that? Absolutely sure. Oh, 
What are the painkillers, Ryan? Oh, yeah, I, sorry, you're going to... Uh, just painkillers. Normal painkillers. Paracetamol. Codeine. Morphine. Well, all right, they're morphine tablets, yes. Oh, really? Oh, come on, Inspector. I know what you're thinking, but there's no way Kate could have had access to them. Because they're in the storeroom. Well, not just that. She wouldn't have even known about them. Or where they were. Sure about that. Yes. Uh, so it students. is morphine Ryan's taking. The pieces are starting to come together. Now I just have to work out how Kate got hold of it. If it was Ryan's morphine she got hold of, of course. Good, Jenks. We're good. Okay. So, <laughs> thank you. You done? Then, Jenks? Thanks. So, cigar, cigarette, hand grenade. <laughs> Howdy, striker. Howdy to you, Kung Fu Fenris. When we started this stream, Kung Fu Fenris, I was low energy. But somehow, this sunlight has been recharging my batteries. That and hating on this man, Ryan. Holy shit, what a piece of crap. All right, pardon my French gumshoes. The language of love and the language of swears. ST to Kalis. All right. Gumshoes. <laughs> Atlas students, uh, much like toddlers, uh, or babies rather, have no uh, concept of object permanence. So if they don't know that something is there, they can't understand that it might be. Right? I think it's what he's saying. <laughs> oh no, crosshair. Wait, crosshair. Wait, what? <laughs> crosshair, wait. Okay, it's um, key rings, IT consultants, um... So the painkillers were there. Can we see the storeroom, please? Can we, like, interview anybody? Can we see any crime scenes? Good uh, God. That's all for the moment. Thank that's you. all for the moment. You go home and think about what you've done. Actually, don't go home. Stay here. But then think about what you've done. All right? Ay, ay, ay. Can we see the storeroom, please? It seems like it's part of the crime scene. Uh, and as always, of course, Gumshoes, I love to just have a nice little walk along the woods. Because sometimes uh, things happen in the woods. I can't assume that anything's going to happen in the woods. Stay here and think about what you've done. <laughs> exactly. My God, these people are still out there on the lake. Go home, it's almost, it's after 10 p.m. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's the real crime here. I mean, look, this Kate and or what's his name's, what is his name? The other, the other, the other presumed suicide. Kyle? That's, that's wrong. That's wrong, what was his name? I'm gonna find it, Liam. Uh, <clears throat> oh yes, of course, <laughs> Liam Gallagher. So, oh, damn it, you know, go back, go back. Yeah, that's right. Hey, good one, Crosshair. You got it. So, I don't know. It just, it feels... <sighs> I don't remember what I was going to say, Gumshoes. Let's be real. Okay. <clears throat> I agree, Neon. I mean, I'm so excited. Ah. Soften up Emma first. Oh, it's all exactly Pukajutsu. Pukajutsu, it's... I don't understand how sunlight works in these British villages. It's almost like the whole thing is taking place at the same time, but they're just applying progressively darker filters to it. It doesn't make any sense. So, Emma, I um, I know you had an affair with Ryan, so did he ever seem like he had maybe a little trouble with his hands? Do you know what I mean? Did you know about Ryan Round's arthritis? Arthritis? I didn't think Ryan had arthritis. <laughs> well, well, well. See, this is the kind of thing I want to confront them with. Okay, um... Ah, perfect neon. See, that's... Have you no. seen this before? Um... No. Sorry, never heard of him. Kate, another great example of someone who probably shouldn't be... Or not Kate. Uh, Emma is probably a great example of someone who probably shouldn't be accepting to be interviewed anymore. Uh, oh, I'm really tired. Oh, I have a migraine. She's been caught in so many lies already. I just think it's a bad idea. What do you know about this? I like that, Neon. This is Simon's. I bought this from him on holiday. Has he lost it? He dropped it. No, you can't keep anything. Oh, 
Okay, um, uh, Aragorn is correct, of course. Well, I don't think it's pointless per se, Aragorn, unless, of course, she's just lying because she's a compulsive liar, which is a thing. I just... <laughs> yeah, exactly, but can, can someone explain what's happening here? Oh, he dropped it outside. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll give it back to him. No, 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 I want to give it back to him. After I ask everybody else in the town about it. Okay, here we go. Later on, if that's okay. Now, if she had said something about, oh, I've never, ever bought him a gift before. So that would be Do ridiculous. you know about Ryan's arthritis? Ryan? He's got arthritis? Apparently. Oh, I didn't know. I hadn't noticed he had any problems. Uh, so... Simon... Is this yours? Dropped yeah. a little thing. That's for my keys. Where did you find that? Just outside. Right. Oh, it must have come off when uh, Nathan dropped my keys off. Uh, he was borrowing my car. That's very trusting. Yeah, I suppose it is. I, I am a bit too trusting, really. It's a new car as well. Hmm. Uh, and before anybody says, yes, something, something, he's lying about his car for some incredibly odd reason. I, Here we uh, go. I think you dropped this outside. Someone you know. <laughs> oh, this is just, uh, this is just from there it is, there. I don't need it. I uh, noticed some numbers on the back. Do you need these? I don't know. What is it? Uh, one nine zero five. Oh yeah, yeah. That's just that's just a, a pin for something. It's okay. I can remember it. So not an offshore savings account or anything. <laughs> no, no. It's uh, it, it's not important. <laughs> one neon deflector. Yes. Mega burn. Uh, two. Great read. On the it's not important. I almost believed you, Simon. I almost believed you. <laughs> yeah, not an offshore bank account. It's just it's not important. <laughs> you can keep that. Oh, you know what, uh, detective? Do you want to just? I mean, Emma and I aren't married, but do you want to? Do you want to take her away too? I don't just yeah. Have my have my screwdriver. Have my bike. Have my. What the hell is this? Go what is going on? We're getting there, Aragorn. We're getting there. All right. Uh, oh, this is incredible. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Where was it? Ages ago. Oh. He didn't say anything about it. Interesting. Um, he had to borrow a bike because that's the only way he can get to work. There we go. That's, there we go. No, 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 don't say anything. <laughs> we got it. Aha. You, you're allowed to say things, Gumshoes, I'm sorry. So I just like to feel special and important yes. too. Yeah. What's wrong with the car? Well, I can't drive the car yet, can I? I don't have my license. Really? Huh? I got a windfall from an insurance payout. Uh, just figured I'd buy something sensible with it straight away instead of wasting the money. So, was the insurance payout? What? Uh, it was for a laptop. It got stolen down at Atlas. Whoa, whoa! At Atlas. Well, they didn't break in. They, I think they just walked in and took it. The laptop was in a storeroom, but I think oh the lock was broken. Oh my god! I took your security very seriously. Uh, actually, it got a lot better after that. <laughs> Good car check it anyway. It must have been a very nice laptop to be able to buy a car with the insurance. <laughs> or a very cheap car. Might have to have a talk with Ryan about his security measures. What is happening? It's not... See, again, Jinx, why would you believe this? Uh, hang on there, Simon. That doesn't seem to make any kind of sense. You know, just... She turned the lock into a newt. It got better. I just... This is ridiculous. Well, yeah, across air. I mean, now when people stick bags over heads or smoke hookah by the lake, they get stopped within a minute by Inspector Jinx, but <laughs> by something sensible. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll take that one. The red sports car, sir? Mm hmm. All right, you want to drive it off the lot? Oh, no, can't do that. No license. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. Kate's driving license. Doesn't know anything about the license. What is this? I've never seen one of these before. <laughs> Doesn't make sense. Gumshoes. It's not a contradiction, Gumshoes. They're just idiots. What are you saying? Oh, okay. So, theoretically, I suppose, 
I don't have any more to ask him, but it just doesn't, it just doesn't sound right. <laughs> whoa, Neon, whoa. Yeah, I'm not sure what a Iada or a Lada is, Crosshair, but I'm going to assume it's a Junker. Card from a 90 wrote his pin on the back. I wonder what it's for. We're going to wait. 1905. That could be a year. Perhaps the year in which Simon became a vampire. Hi-ya! I assume it will, Pukajutsu. We should go back to James, the resident black magic stoner. Uh, only because he's fun, though. Okay, Crosshair, are you feeling all right? That You're just spewing word salad over there. What's going on? Oh, oh, I see. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Some Europeans um, wanted to take the North American concept of a box on wheels that breaks when the wind changes and um, make it more European. So there you go. <laughs> you go. What is happening? What are these words? <laughs> uh. Thank you, Gumshoes. I haven't lasted this long. I haven't laughed. This much in a long time. Whoa. Oh, oh, often lends the car to friends. Didn't he say something about not having friends? Oh, no, wait. That's just something I deduced. Okay, all right, here we go. Whoa, this is funny. Um, I'm just reviewing really quick because I'm sure we're going to be able to go see the storeroom now, which is going to be... Oh, okay, there we go. There we go, Crosshair. See, that? that's a word I recognize. Oh, my goodness. James thinks the government is tracking him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is uh, thinks student in the woods was Kyle. He also believes the garbage about guilt not being useful because he's been mm, brainwashed. Doesn't know anything about third eye. Oh, lol. Masks help with the trance. Something, something, something masks, maybe? Oh, he doesn't recognize this particular mask. Okay, so then prob probably not really a contradiction. Mm -hmm. Auto hypnosis with the mirrors. Uh... Oh, and of course, there's this weird costume party going on. Well, oh, gumshoes, let me know if we get some sunshine in here. I think we're going to be blown out shortly. Hopefully not. Doesn't recognize the photos or the car. <gasps> oh, bullshit! Um. <laughs> uh. Filled in a form. It was a health check. It would be easy to lie on the form. Well, it would be easy to lie to me. Um, didn't notice Ryan having any physical problems. Uh, owns a new car, but doesn't have a license. Ridiculous. Can I just put this in as a contradiction? Okay, that's it for now. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, Emma, quick question. Um, do you, uh, do you know Simon in the store? Did you know about Simon's laptop being stolen? Yeah, because it had all my college work on it, which I hadn't backed up or saved. Uh, not that it mattered much, but uh, I did buy a new one. And Simon uses it now. When I have it. So when you say that it had all of your college work on it, and you say it like that's important, but then you say that wasn't important. So was it important or not? <laughs> to be fair, Gwen, I know somebody, my social media manager, Scott, don't tell anybody, whose laptop was also stolen at near the end of his university career, uh, degree rather, and uh, this was kind of around the time when cloud saving was a thing not not really so he lost a little bit of his actually very specifically quick story time here folks um do you mind if i tell this one he's shaking his head but he means yes he minds well, i'm telling it okay he's not gonna stop so my social media manager scott he had his his laptop uh, stolen at some point he you know put his bag down right next to him when he was working at a cafe and it just Walked away. Um, a Skoda. My God. That sounds delicious, Crosshair. <laughs> um, 
the the main thing that was lost again some of it was uh, saved on the cloud and and most of the things he was studying at university didn't require any writing because he's a lamo studying theater or something ridiculous oh Aragorn, i'm getting to it in a second uh, but the big thing that was lost uh, were innumerable journal entries. Not like a personal journal. It was a journal he had to write for a class. Personal responses. Oh, you know, I think the work we did in this class today was useful in my upcoming career because, you know, probably about 500 words per journal entry for a semester. Several months. Uh, two per week. You do the math. What is that? 13, 12, 13 weeks, two per week, 500 words. Gone. It had to be handed in. Guess who came to his rescue and let him use his computer and his room to rewrite as many of them as possible? Uh, Mr. John Verrill. That's how we know he's a hero. A good story or a great story, gumshoes? Me! Eight Bly? Who ate Bly? It's horrible. So, seriously, Neon. I woof. Okay, Aragorn, you're right. Again, can we? Can we? Can we talk? Uh, do you mean co-voice on the Pukajutsu Hot Takes podcast, John Verrill? That John Verrill? I'll be honest with you, Pukajutsu. As someone who lives in the 1940s, uh, I don't understand half of the words that you used in that sentence, but. I'm an improviser at heart, so let's go with yes. And he might have his own hot take podcast coming soon. I probably shouldn't say things like that. <laughs> Gonna get me into hot water one day. Ooh, ah, ooh, hot water. Aragorn is correct here, folks. Um, not only was... Okay, so theoretically, in this magical, mystical world that they're creating for us, which is bullshit, um, Simon has laptop stolen because of shoddy security at Atlas. Fine. A stuff happens. He then used an insurance payout from said laptop <clears throat> to buy a car, which he can't drive. Sensible investment. Um, the laptop wasn't Simon's, or was Simon's, but Emma, uh, Emma had been using it for her coursework, which disappeared. So then she had to buy a new one, and Simon got a car. Just ridiculous. <clears throat> oh, a live radio broadcast show. <gasps> ding, 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 ding. That's my radio show introduction. Welcome back to Ace Spadesy Mysteries. All right. Um, there's got to be something in here. This is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Um, keeps telling Simon to fix the luck. Uh, yeah, and then she got her stolen. Um... Aragorn, it doesn't make any sense. See, this is why I don't believe these people. It's just, it's just so unbelievably irresponsible that it doesn't, it just doesn't sound like something anyone would actually do. Thank you. Probably be back later. So I suppose we could go and see Ryan. Seems like a good idea. But instead, I think it's time to visit everyone's favorite young man. Too far. Lululu. I would have given up on being coherent ages ago. My God. Hello, James. Oh no! A few more questions, please. Oh yeah. Hello, Kaiser. How are you? I don't know how James figures into this. Do they just? Did they just need someone to fill out the town? You know, in the sense of like, on the census, they're like. Oh, we've got like a father and son duo running a scam. We've got the uh, young, beautiful, mysterious woman who lies all the time. Uh, we've got the wife of the man running the thing he's put upon and also kind of cold. Um, and we've got like the young, impressionable vampire boyfriend. Um, and um, uh, we need someone who's like not good at anything. Someone who's really incompetent. Uh, we need a we need a James. Let's get a James in here. Doesn't make sense. Oh my god. 
Holy shit, Grist. Ooh! Puka Jutsu is correct. James is our way into the occult here, folks. I need to know more. And I want to know it. <laughs> well, yeah, Aviana, that's... If, if we're being completely honest, that's why we're all here, myself included. I don't know what is going on. But I know I love making fun of these people. That's why I'm here. That's what great police work is all about. Mocking people until they give themselves up. All right, okay. <laughs> so welcome to the stream. All right, okay. Um, oh my god. Packet contains mint leaves. Uh, no, it doesn't. Uh, <laughs> he's just such a liar. He's such a liar. Autohypnosis is another name for scrying. Okay. Um... James wouldn't know anything about Emma's guilt. Are we sure about that? It's unlikely James would know about the prescriptions in the medical cupboard at the pot. Well, fuck, man. Anyone could know anything at this point. He's unlikely to know about Ryan's arthritis. Okay, well, then what does he know about? Oh, he doesn't know about James' left. <laughs> sure. <sighs> Seriously, Krister. Ooh, well, um, good luck with that. Uh, John is an excellent detective. I will put that out there. But nobody's going to be investigating my disappearance because I will make it a locked puzzle box that none of you will ever be able to solve. Okay, well, we can't ask him about anything about people who live in this village that he may or may not know, so instead... Recognize this <laughs> at all? No, there's no way! Yeah, he fixed my laptop. Holy he shit, it actually it. worked! I think so. I cannot believe that that worked. How about now? Your laptop, huh? Much like the laptop that was stolen from Simon! This is freaking Isn't wild. Don't think so. Oh, James! <sighs> My kind of guy, Pukajutsu. <laughs> hey, Chief Inspector Stryker, how you been doing? Well, I'm still living. <laughs> okay. Uh, IT consultant repaired his laptop. Wait, actually, didn't Simon say something about the... Doesn't think the consultant lives locally. Didn't Simon say something about the... It must have, it must have fallen out when he was giving James his keys... Hmm. Thank you. Probably be back later. Oh, God. Crosshair, it's true. I cannot wait for people to guess what that might be about, though. Yeah, correct. Yes, very, very correct. <clears throat> well, we have to go back to Ryan. Call the chief. <laughs> what am I? <laughs> Inspector on a police force? Hello, Brandon House. Oh, we've already been into the garage. Right. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> James straightened slightly and squinted towards the business card held in the detective's two fingers. He recognized the name. An IT chap who'd fixed his laptop, actually. Explaining this, he leaned back in his recliner, turned his gaze back to the crackling fire he'd kept burning for the past four hours. His gaze furtively flicked towards the detective, uncertain if he had any other random objects to quiz him about. James was getting suspicious of this behatted man. Who was he? Was he really an inspector with the police, as his badge seemed to indicate? Or was he simply a strange man with a fake badge? <laughs> and how did James figure into all of this? Even he didn't know. <laughs> Whoop! No, too late! <laughs> I've already written my, th my trilogy of fantasy novels. Ah, Tolkien. He sure knew how to hold his liquor. All right. Um, uh, what is Simon is a cop and an IT consultant. Atlas have their own. All right, well, I'm not happy about it, but it would appear that we're going to go talk to Ryan. If I remind, reminded of his lost loves. They burned hot and bright, but they were so very, very short-lived. It wasn't tragedy that took them out of James' life, but his own brevity. Side effect, the the mint that grew on his farm. 
James straightened slightly and winked at the business card held in the detective's tentacles. <laughs> the business card was actually some cheese. He recognized the cheese. It was the cheese that had killed his father. Leaning back in his recliner, he stared into the crackling fire he had kept burning for the past 36 years. Who am I again? <laughs> Who am I? Who am I again? Well, this may come in handy, he chuckled, pocketing it. <laughs> I'm loving this backstory for Jinx. Just, just FYI, Gumshoes, I am loving it. Uh, me too, Geyser. Oh, Paul, of course, we gotta talk to the things, friggin' guy again. The guy. You know, the vampire. The Were evil one. you at Atlas when Simon's laptop was stolen? Oh, I believe I was, yes. He was taken from the storeroom in the hallway. Was it ever recovered? No, we didn't catch anyone. We're quite exposed out here. Uh, somebody could just have wandered along the lane, seen into the store, and it's not particularly secure. They could have been in and out within minutes. C O N T A T R A D I C T I O N. Be too careful these days, Inspector. Is there a T I O N? Yeah. That's Aragorn's surprised and excited. Yeah, C O N T R A D I C T I O N. Um, hi. You, you know, welcome to Atlas, uh, where we teach you how to succeed in business uh, while losing all of your empathy. Uh, keep your valuables with you because we are training people to be cutthroat sharks, and they will steal from you, just like my father is in the back room right now. Hi, Dad. Okay, storeroom isn't particularly secure. Um, but the secure storeroom. Aha. Uh -huh. Exactly, Grass. So the storeroom is wild. isn't particularly secure yet. Oh, you don't keep look so excited, Jenks. This is I easy. You said no one could get access to the morphine, but they could quite easily, couldn't they, Ryan? I didn't mean that storeroom. I meant a different storeroom. I kicked them in there. Okay. So where was it locked up? It's upstairs. The doggy it's dog. A what the hell? Nobody could have access to it except me and Dad. Nobody. I might have a look at that if you don't mind. Don't mind at all. <laughs> don't, don't mind at all. Combination oh. locked room. I see. Well, I might have a look around for that. See how secure and combination locked it really is. Well, well, holy shit. Now, just to be just to be clear, Gumshoes, I do not recommend walking around to combination locks with four digit codes and just trying random numbers. Even numbers that you found on the back of a business card dropped by someone who is not a suspect in your ass of case, but you stole it anyway. I don't recommend it. There's a lot of four digit combinations. Okay, there's a lot of them. Um, I'm gonna have to read this here. As James leaned further back into his recliner, he felt a strange pulling sensation as the recliner turned into a slightly larger than usual armadillo. Before he knew it, we're playing Mad Libs. Breakfast was served promptly at 11 p.m. and the business card was handed to the waitress. With a nod, she took it and disappeared into the inflated elephant. <laughs> this is... VenationLock.com. That's all for the moment. Thank you. I will be back to catch you in another lie shortly, sir. How about we go up the stairs? Holy shit, why haven't you gone up the stairs before? You like poking around in everything. Right. Private. Why couldn't we go up before? There's nothing up here. Oh my god. I wonder if there's gonna be a showdown! <laughs> I cannot wait. Uh, well, I'll just try the reading room one more time. I just like being in here in case there's any sort of satanic rituals. No? What are we gonna do? <laughs> Question. Yes. I'll wait. I mean... I appreciate what you're both saying, Pukujutsu and Aragwen, and it's not that I don't believe my gumshoes, because of course I believe my gumshoes. I'll try anything once. That's how I ended up on that, <laughs> on that bath salts-fueled rampage. Is it too soon to joke about bath salts? Anyone? 
<clears throat> ah, of course, Krister. It's just... Okay. I feel like in most... Again, quick, <laughs> quick, quick side note here. I feel like in most adventure games, you'd get a chance to sort of zoom in on the combination lock rather than giving you this wide plan, <clears throat> grand plan, as they say in France, of this whole area with nothing in it. Why do I care? <clears throat> Pound those stairs. No, wait, no, no, not like that. Put it away, quick. <laughs> um, well, it depends on who you ask, Crosshair. The families of those who lost their lives. Welcome to the mirror room. This exercise is all about identifying the difference between the image one presents to the world and one's real self, which lies deep in our unconscious. As you move through <laughs> the of mirrors, practice seeing yourself as a stranger. The more you separate from your persona, the more aware... No, not that storeroom. This storeroom. Quick, lock him in. <laughs> Release the gas. <laughs> with us. I am free from my Oh my image. god. I am free from my past. I am free from myself. I am free from my image. I am free from my past. I am free from myself. I am free from my image. Oh, that was easy. This exercise involves the use of liberation masks. You have now completed module one. Module two covers boundary testing, threshold testing, and extreme testing. Extreme Please testing? Read notes carefully before attempting the module. <laughs> what on earth? A combination locked room at Atlas contains a disorienting maze of mirrors. My God, what is going on? <laughs> oh, we never allow students up there until they've graduated to the mirror room. <laughs> this is absolutely wild. Gumshoes. Um, I've seen enough James Bond films to understand that this is a murder room and you need to get the hell out. That's correct, Neon Deflector. They are. Right, I think we'll be leaving the mirror room now. <laughs> the father, the mirror room, and the pig jar. Never forget. Um, Krister, if, wait, do I actually, do I have anything that I can use in there? <gasps> key, oh, it's just a key ring. Thought it was a key. It's fine. Could I use the aptitude, could I use the aptitude test? <laughs> J Janice? No, wait, that's not right. J J J Jen Jenkins? If the pig jar ends up being the behind it all, the pig jar is behind it all, then I'll be very excited. Even more excited than I am now. <laughs> well, Pukudutsu, how many blackouts do you remember? You know? Ooh! Neon, I didn't even think about that. Holy schnitzel cart. It's like a hot dog stand, but you know, they serve schnitzels. <laughs> oh, oh, you, Iviana, you actually weren't here for this. I'm just gonna catch you up real quick. Um, does she say anything? We actually can't go back and interview Lisa Blint again because she literally ran out of her house, <laughs> essentially screaming. She claimed that Atlas were devil worshippers. How? Do, that's a pretty crazy accusation, Lisa. What do you? What makes you think that? Well, I went and I studied there, and now I see demons in mirrors. Oh, okay, just wild. Just wild. Oh my god, gumshoes. 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 I'm gonna keep saying it, gumshoes. Follow me on this one for a second here. <clears throat> I've been thinking this whole time that the, uh, the scrying mirrors were being used to somehow, I don't know, suck, suck, like, life force from the people working here. Uh, studying here at Atlas. What if the mirror room has two-way mirrors and they're just watching from behind it? Is that obvious? Is that obvious to anyone else? It seems maybe, like, I'm just thinking about this for the first time. <laughs> gum shoes, gum shoes, gum shoes, gum shoes, gum shoes. <laughs> 
Oh! Oh my god. Ooh. Kaiser. Yay, everyone's doing it! Okay. Kaiser, do you think I can... This is... It's not gonna happen, but I'm gonna try it anyway. What if... Mmm. Too subtle. It's a good point. So this seems really unlike... I'm just gonna try this, though. Come choose. Just give me a second here. There's no use for it. I don't know. Look into it and see if you can see a demon or something. I, can I put on the mask? What do you mean there's no... Well, clearly we need to try taking some salvia. Oh, come on! Crack the case wide open. Get that two-minute high. How about this bag? <laughs> this is so crazy! Oh! Crosshair, you caught the mirror room, right? Crosshair, you caught the mirror room? I, I agree. We have dried salvia in a bag and we can't even eat it or smoke it or... I don't know, roll it up and... I don't know. <laughs> yeah, Kaiser, it's every... It's every... Kaiser, do you think that's part of it? Do you think they're trying to say something here? Jenks is losing his mind! Or maybe his soul. Who knows? We're gonna find out. Uh, sorry, in advance. Uh, we're not in advance, but rather, Gumshoes, I am sorry about this. It's not... I... I don't see a setting to turn off weird glitches. It's it's unfortunate. He did smoke it, whatever. And what do you know about this? <laughs> oh my god, I captured a soul in the mirror. Oh. We're of course going to be speaking to Paul about it because I have a feeling there's going to be something very fun. Can you tell me what you know about the mirror room upstairs? What? There's no mirror room upstairs? What are you? Found that then. Hmm. Well, it's very similar to the costumes, Inspector. It's designed to help the students look at themselves differently. And what Kaiser, do you good point. do with the mirrors? You look at yourself, Inspector. You look at yourself until you start seeing yourself as, as others do. Wearing and a stupid hat. You don't see yourself as, as you do anymore. It, it really, the idea is that you can see yourself eventually. He's anyway. almost human, this guy. I like it. So why in a locked room? To make sure you're not distracted, that's all. How often is it used? But it's locked from not the outside. Often. A few times a month. Some students find it useful. Some don't. Yeah. Oof. Okay, this I, I'm going to just put an exclamation mark here because I assume something is is wrong about this. Um, my favorite part is we still haven't find the Locked private storeroom. I thought that was the point of coming here. Actually, as Methodio points out, I thought the point of this was to solve Kate's murder. What is this garbage? What is happening? We're investigating some weird murder cult. It's horrible. Okay. Um. Keeps the morphine in a locked room upstairs. Um... Uh, I mean, there's something here. Clearly, the drugs are not being kept up there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is used by the students, but the morphine is in the locked room. Bah! Hmm. <sighs> Ooh, they do it with mirrors. Ooh, Krister, I like it. Oh, wow, crosshair. See, time, crosshair, time. This is what I was talking about earlier, gumshoes. By the time the light returns to your eyeballs, you are a different person. You are literally seeing your past self in a mirror. Hashtag science, bitches. All right. Um, yikes, sorry. Mirror room is used by the students. Um, I hope I hope he said something at some point about what students never use this place. Murder cult, murder cult. Welcome back to Murder Cult, brought to you by the Mirror Room. Brought to you by Sylvia in a bag. 
salvia in a bag for when you really want a trip right now. <laughs> for when you really need a vacation from reality. Okay. Oh, um, uh, yeah, they disturbing. Um. Oh, 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 mirrors, mirrors, something about mirrors, maybe. Oh my god, this is wild. Me too, Eric Gwen. We're gonna go there, don't worry. Ah, uh, it doesn't believe in anything supernatural now. Okay. <gasps> okay. Sorry, I am just... This is... Absolutely wild. Mmm, that's very cool. Okay. I think we're ready to go and visit... Students are not coerced or bribed in any way. Then how do you explain this? Uh, just a bag of money and drugs. I don't know. Uh, let's have an end of stage party. The course involves teaching students how to act. The party so we can costumes. Stunts not related. It doesn't blame Emma for Liam's death. Liam was strong and outgoing. I think he said that he seemed happy as well. It's not really a contradiction, I guess. I know that's not really a... Um, oh, yeah, okay. So here's the other thing. Quick, quick, by the by. Apparently, Simon had his laptop stolen and the insurance paid to buy him a new car. Ryan had his car defaced and the insurance paid him out for it. I don't... <laughs> there we go. Hmm. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, jeez. Um, Ryan's arthritis, Simon's stolen laptop. All right. Be back later on, if that's okay. It is not, but we will do our best here. I just... Man, I really hope somebody just grabs him and bags his head again. That's how we get ahead in this world. Let people assault you and try to steal things. I guess. Okay. I think it's time... We go to see the devil himself. Um, maybe Rebecca? Actually, have we? I, super unlikely, but it's on the way. You know what? You know what I mean, Gumshoes. So it's on the way. Hello, <laughs> Inspector Jenks calling. Oh God, this guy. Ask about a few more things, please. Oh jeez, Eviana, get in there quick. Have you seen <laughs> this before? <laughs> No. Okay. <laughs> Did everyone see that face that Jenks pulled? That was horrible. What about this? Know anything about this? <laughs> no, sorry. <gasps> Jinx. You can't just throw objects at people and expect them to know things. It's unlikely Rebecca would know about Simon's laptop, is it? Everyone seems to know everyone else's business. Do you know oh, but the mirror room, about sure. The locked room at Atlas with mirrors. Oh my it. God, Eviana! But not off fair. the top of my head. No, I think that's a question for Ryan. Hmm. Well, then, in that case, thank you. Goodbye. I'll be back later. I guess we'll check the restaurant, but I'm sure there's no one there. There's never anyone at the pub. And here I was, happened to have a nice sit down and interrogation with the person who did it. But of course, Paul doesn't feed on human food. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Aragorn. Like quite, I, I, I tend to agree quite, quite clearly. Couple more questions, if that's okay. But of course, you know, confront her with the recording you heard isn't an option. Oh my goodness, there's gonna be a lots to ask about here. I'm sure. So your son has arthritis, huh? I always knew he was broken. Why? Well, it's not that he's broken, so no, no. My son is terrible. Well, no disagreeing with you there, sir. You ever seen one of these? Oh, that's nice crosshair. Thank you. Okay, gumshoes. I think this man is obviously very... <laughs> Have you ever seen one of these? Delicious. Gumshoes. I think this vampire needs a bit of softening up, you know? I think we should ask him about the stolen laptop just to and what do you know before we start Simon's throwing random props being at him. Stolen from Atlas. I know I wasn't happy about it. What did you do about it? 
Brian paid a con man to install a complicated CCTV system at twice the price that it would probably have cost. The hell is going on? Seemed to do the trick. I love this guy. Had a theft since. Um. So that's new, and now I feel very bad about having paced back and forth within Atlas for hours at this point. Um. When did Ryan this is gonna go well. to suffer from arthritis? Ryan doesn't suffer from arthritis. Really? The only thing that Ryan suffers from is a pathetic inability <laughs> to deal with any kind of discomfort. I don't mean to laugh, but he you just hate your son so much. Last year. Since then, he's going around telling everybody he suffers from arthritis. I thought he had medication for it. Oh, he only has medication because his GP, who is almost as dysfunctional as he is, keeps prescribing it for Well then. So you don't believe he really has arthritis? Not at all. Ah, oh, there you go, Crosshair. <laughs> My son, I love him to bits. Also, piece of trash. <laughs> all right, okay. Ryan pulled his back last year. He has his low pain threshold. GP keeps... See, why can't I take this information and be like, hey, Rebecca, so it would appear that um, Paul gives me information that you you should have told me as well. Doesn't believe Ryan has arthritis. Do we know anything about Ryan? I don't think so. I don't think he said anything. He can't play the... Well, he can't play the guitar, that's for sure. Oh, whoops. Ah, whatever. Well, I think it's time we ask him about this. <laughs> yeah, exactly, you Methodial. Know who this is uh, Dean Hayfield, Aztec. Sorry, never heard of him. We have uh, some prisoner of the sword who does our IT. I'm sorry. Large guy. No manners. Sorry. Everyone heard that, right? They have their own prisoner guy what does that mean does that mean they're literally keeping someone prisoner to do their it they have someone on a work program from a prison it's a <laughs> this is the problem when you lack human empathy you just say things just come out wrong you know good god Seen this before anywhere no Ah, there we go, Aravana. Aravana's cracked the case. <laughs> so, what about the mirror room? Can you tell me about the room with the mirrors at Atlas? The one with the combination lock. How did you get in there? <gasps> I was given the code for the combination. By Ryan? Well, nobody else is uh, allowed to know the code, are they? I'm not in theory. <gasps> so how is the room used on the course, then? It's a meditation room where the students can reflect on themselves, Ugh. literally. Ugh. And what about the CD? Well, that helps too, it's part of the program. So you send the students into the room, they put the CD on, they stare into the mirrors. And how long does this last for? Until the CD Days. finishes or they fall asleep. What else would you like to know? Okay. Again. <laughs> oh! Do I need a DVD packet? To be able to take the CD from the mirror room? I'd like to be able to take the CD from the mirror room, please. <laughs> I'd like to be able to bag some evidence. <laughs> I don't know what... See, this is the problem here. Jenks has no endgame. He's not going to have... All he's going to have is a bunch of circumstantial evidence of people contradicting themselves whilst being interrogated by a weirdo, no less. A weirdie. Ay, 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 ay. Nobody is allowed to know the combination code. Okay. No thefts have happened since. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna throw this in here real quick. Oh, come on! Oh, I suppose that was Liam's death. That was, that, that would have been. <laughs> No other thefts have taken place since Simon's laptop was... Well, except when I stole from the students. That wasn't really stealing. Hmm. Uh, that's it for the time being. Thank you. I suppose we should ask a few more people. Oh. You haven't... You have things you haven't asked Simon and Emma about yet. My God. Thanks. 
tips? <laughs> well, that's also true, uh, Crosshair. Good point. Ooh, I wonder if we're gonna be able to. Ooh. Oh, I just want to. I just want to break into the village hall. Jenks, get your lock picks. Or your fist, or whatever you use. I don't know. Woods Lane. He's. I've. 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 I've laughed a lot at the. Um, uh, picturesque English villages here, but I actually quite like this. This is quite pretty. I have to say. More like Jenks, got him. Please. Hey ho. Um. So. No. Do even... you know about the mirror room at Atlas? Mirror room. Um, no, I, I heard about it, but I think it was only for the students that you're on the course. Something like that. Uh, Crosshair, the key, the silver key was used to get in at the pub. We've already used it. Um, we actually found it there. And, and this is a key ring. But, but I don't, I don't hesitate to believe that we're going to be able to find a tool to get us in there at some point. I like his loafers. <laughs> well, Aravana, at least we like something about him. Okay. Okay. Can I not just confront Emma about the fact that she's clearly traumatized by something to do with mirrors? She says she's never been on the course. And yet, the... the cl clearly, the... God, clearly she's been traumatized by these mirrors. <clears throat> Only went once to Atlas. Went to an Atlas seminar. She thinks the mirror room is used later. Well, Thank last you. time anyway. Be back later. See if we can figure something else out here. All right, Simon. Do you know Give me the about goods. The mirror room at Atlas. Yeah. It's useful. Yeah. Oh, well, so it's not weird the then. Module. So it's very yeah, you weird. Go okay, in cool. And you stare into the mirror and. You go into a trance. I thought. Then, yes. when you're ready, you come back out. So you just go in whenever you want to. Oh no! Um, there's certain times when you're allowed in, and uh, only they know the combinations anyway. So you can't really get in. You don't know the combination. No. Bring. Um, that's going to be Aragorn in about three, two, one. <gasps> oh, no. You don't get to my age without thinking you're psychic and then being discounted by the world. <laughs> Liar! <laughs> Liar! That's not a witch, that's my wife! All right. <laughs> Where is it? The business card. Aha. Aha. So you didn't know the combination to the locked mirror room? Nope. Except you've written it down, haven't you? Could just be a, this is the combination to the mirror could just be a code for his bank. Pin, see i would have just said oh that's my pin number for the bank yeah. coincidence and then jenks would have been you like see, oh yeah coincidence this sort of thing makes me suspicious simon what were you doing in there that you didn't want anyone <laughs> including me Yikes. to find out it's just part of the course worshiping the pig gods <laughs> just wanted to go in there when i was ready on your own the number to anyone else. Ooh. No. Simon, there was morphine kept in that room that might have played a part well, in okay, Kate we don't Farrow's know that. Death. We don't know that there's Did morphine Kate in the Did Kate have the number? Yes, okay. Uh, we both went in. <gasps> Together? You and Kate? We were trying to outdo I agree, each Kaiser. other. We, we both tried to morphine. Tried some tried morphine? To each other. It's part of the course. What the hell? To see how far you it's can not a hallucinogenic. To see if you could do something you wouldn't normally do. I thought you said something about not months, taking risks. A few months ago? How often did you try? Only that once. I'd never do it again. How about Kate? I don't know. Sorry. Oh, Simon. Simple Simon. So that's how Kate got the morphine. But what exactly does this testing involve? Could this have been what killed Kate? Eleven o'clock. Just an hour left to solve this thing. Oh no! Just an hour left? You'll never make it, Jinx, if only time didn't move at different paces. Okay. So, here's the... Uh, 
he and Kate took morphine in the mirror room. However, where is it? Um, he was told at Atlas to do something risky, but not allowed to hurt or offend others. See? Elephant o'clock. See, this is what makes me suspicious too, Simon. Not allowed to hurt or offend others. Literally injecting morphine. That's so dangerous. Now, gumshoes. Oh, I know where we need to go. I know where we need to go. It's time to go to the village hall. Oh, come on. Damn it. Well, I suppose we'll try the key anyway, even though it doesn't work here. Oh, disappointing. Wait, did we ever use the... Yeah, we used the screwdriver too. Ah, well, what are you going to do? Well, I do like walking through the woods. Da Ooh, it's getting spooky. We all like a good spooking? I don't know what I'm... Okay. Okay, all right. Okay. Right into the woods. We're just checking. We're just checking, gumshoes. Don't worry. <gasps> yes. People. <gasps> You can push it all the way in, Tom, if you want to. <laughs> Excellent, Tom. Excuse me. Would someone care to tell me exactly what's going on here? Don't come any closer. <laughs> that man needs a doctor. Don't come any closer. I don't need a doctor. I'm fine. Go away. He definitely doesn't need a doctor. He's cut Test his hand. Of what? What does it look like? It's a threshold test. A pain a threshold. threshold test. A pain threshold test. Oh, I interesting. Thought, uh, you were supposed to be good at working things out, Inspector Jenks. But who are you? And so this would be for Atlas, would it? Kyle. <gasps> I know your name too, you, you son. Disappear now. It's not a good idea to talk to a police inspector like that. Do it to make you. It's okay, Tom. Mr. Jenks won't be bothering us anymore. Yeah, nothing illegal about a man telling another man to stab himself through the hand. That doesn't seem like anything. Yeah, Kaiser, this is what I don't understand. Everyone's covering. <gasps> Keys! Keys! Well, well. You really should take more care of your things, Ryan. Is your keys, Kyle? No. <laughs> no, but 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 forcing somebody so that's to threshold testing is it? Sticking a skewer through your hand? I could just ask Ryan or Paul directly about this, but I think I'll bide my time. Mm -hmm. See what I can do with this key fob. First. Great idea, buddy. Yeah, you see what you can do with that key fob. This guy. Oh my God, Crosshair. It's not illegal. No, of course not. But there's got to be something inappropriate about. Uh, forcing somebody via yeah no exactly like there's there's a anyway they're being conned into it is the point everyone is covering for atlas clearly atlas is responsible for the deaths of kate and liam so the point is we don't know how yet yeah i agree Aragorn. actually my favorite part was the these are keys no <laughs> so now what is the remote control going to open? We're gonna find out! Can we use it here? No, okay. Oh, it's a, oh my God, it's a car key fob. Oh, specifically. Oh, okay, well then it's clearly for their car. No, that's disappointing. Oh my God, we're gonna break into his car. This is illegal! This is not legal! We're doing it anyway, gumshoes, we're doing it! That was the lock button. You were pressing the lock button, my friend. Oh, sure. Just hop on in. Just hop in, Jenks. Nothing wrong with this. <laughs> Just searching through all their shit. Jenks. You crazy son of a gun. <gasps> what? An unmarked envelope? This could be anything. Oh, it's a piece of... Oh, no. It is just an unmarked envelope. All right. Okay. Bingo. Well, Ryan, what have you been up to? Be very interesting to see how he explains this one. Five hundred pounds only. I don't think I don't think you can write only on a check. 
somebody please correct me on that. That doesn't seem like part of a, you know, number. Well, well, well. A 500 pound check for Kate. Wait a s is that intended to buy her off? Come on. Very good, Aragorn, yes. He's like a little cat. I'm getting very excited, Gumshoes. You have to, you have to excuse the excitement here. Okay, so we're gonna confront Paul at some point, but of course we need to confront Ryan first because you know that Ryan. Wait a second, hang on, hang on. So there's a check for Kate. Um, blah, 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 blah. someone said something. Oh, okay, great, Zen. That's good. It's just because, it, like, it, like I guess the point is like it implies to me it says 500 pounds only. As a, like, which would imply to me that if you didn't write the word only, that someone would be able to go and cash it and be like, I only want 400, please. Like, I don't think, I don't know, I guess I just, I don't know. I just, I feel like I'm missing something. Whoa, is that a cat? No, she's excited to solve this mystery. There was something about... Exactly. Well, she didn't. She didn't take the check. Clearly. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay. Got it, Zen. Because that's what I do. I write. Yeah. Yeah. The XX is for. Well, I assumed it was for zero cents. That's what I assumed. Um. I understand. Oh, okay. Five hundred pounds only. Not five hundred pounds and X cents or five hundred thousand. Holy shit. Oh, I get it now. That's wonderful. Oh. Come shoes. Someone gives you a check for 500 pounds. You tack on a zero. You think, that's not enough. You tack on another zero. You think, you know what? They've got more. You tack on a third zero. Baller move? I say yes. Eviana, I am so proud of you. I am. And I'm not being facetious here. Come shoes, cook yourself some tasty food. You've earned it. We've earned it. We're about to solve this weird cult mystery. We're well, not actually. Um... Uh, how much money did Kate need? Well, Kaiser, this is the problem. I, I mean, 500 pounds isn't... Well, it's not nothing, of course, but it's not... It's certainly not going to pay for her life. Hmm. Oh, oh, the... Man, this driver's license hasn't done anything yet. No one's done anything about this light this license yet 599 <laughs> that'd be good actually again just like <laughs> seriously oh yeah no you pretend to offer the students money and see if they're strong enough to refuse it even though you told me that the course was about taking money at all odds exactly detective <laughs> Oh, Aragwen, that's actually a really interesting point. Do we think Kate was blackmailing... Holy shit, actually, didn't they say that? Sorry, sorry, sorry. I, I started as a joke. But... Where is it? Kate's argument. Kate wanted to blackmail Ryan over their affair. Okay. And now I want to connect it to... I'm not allowed, but I want to connect it to... Uh, wherever it is... You you have to do something risky when you're at Atlas. I'm gonna take a risk. I'm gonna blackmail my teacher. Huh? Go, go, and then you get killed. Okay. Well, anyway, since we can't do anything to connect any of these dots yet, uh, I think we should take this very incriminating evidence and go and flash it at a bunch of people. Uh, sound good? Great. Um, James still hasn't done anything for us, eh? Don't think he's gonna be very useful. I think we should talk to Rebecca. Oh, my God. If there's nobody in this restaurant, I will be so disappointed. There's no point. There's just no point. I love flashing. There's just no point. Why is this room here at all? It could have just not been there. It could have just It could have just been a cutscene that one time. Couple more things, Didn't please. have to have a thing there at all. Doesn't know anything about the mirror room. Best not to ask Rebecca about the money for Kate. Why not? She knows her husband's a piece of trash. She should know that her husband cheated on her. Oh my God. Well, I, maybe maybe that's not our business. Uh, that's all for the moment. Thank you. See you later. Um. 
Oof, this should be interesting. Hmm. Well. <sighs> nah, you're, you're, you're right, Crosshair. Let's go do some questioning. Maybe he'll show us the fun room. The fun room is where they just murder people. Um, horrible, just horrible. Hello, that mirror room was wild. Mind. Uh, good point, Kaiser. So, I think it's time we ask you. Would you like to explain what this is, please, Ryan? 500 pounds intended for Kate. It fell out of your car. At least I assume that's your it car. It fell out of your car. Oh, so, so no, it didn't. It was in my side pocket. Ah, so it was yours. 500 pounds, Ryan. It was just a little incentive, that's all. Just a little incentive. Not but very little, Ryan. 500 pounds. It's not really an incentive. She was a, a very good student. We, we heard that she was leaving. We wanted to give her something. But you didn't. Well, obviously not. Are you sure there wasn't This guy's got some Tim Curry vibes, and I couldn't be happier about this. it. Personal reason? No! Well, I'd like to keep hold of this for a little while, if you don't mind. Well, don't consider it a bribe, will you, Inspector? It's not made out to him. It's not going to consider it a bribe. Okay. Uh, had heard Kate wanted to leave Atlas. No ulterior motive for giving Kate the money. <gasps> My window. Had heard Kate wanted to leave Atlas. There's got to be something in here. Said Kate seemed to be enjoying the course. Oh, come on. It's essentially a contradiction. Uh, okay, well, a lot of these are not going to do anything here. Yeah, well, exactly, apart from the blackmail. Right, exactly. Um, there's got to be something here. Don't. No, Neon. Do you mean the... We asked Emma about the mirror room. Yeah, we did, Neon. Um, she got a really horrible, faraway look in her eyes and then basically said, uh, yeah, I don't know much about it. Um, and that's... <laughs> but, you know, it basically just tumbled out. <laughs> We're going to have red herring soup for a year. Yeah, there's a lot of red herrings in here. Um, okay, this guy, jeez. Oh, I guess we just need to go and get Paul at this point. Can I just put all of the Atlas rituals next to each other and say contradiction? Because they just, it's, I just want to know what kind of course you're running here. Doll hair, mirror rooms, crying, auto hypnosis. What the hell? And can we talk about this party? Wearing costumes? Oh, I've never wear a costume in my life. Okay. Um. Be back later on if that's okay. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, Aragwen. Oh, wait, well, we haven't really left the building yet, so that's okay. Hello. A few more questions, if you don't mind. Hello. Oh, there's got to be something here. Money was meant as a little incentive for Kate to do what? To do what? There's got to be something there. Oh, uh, uh, valuables. Um, um, but uh, 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 ugh. No, that's not going to work. Interesting. I wonder, Aragwen. Okay, that's if it it's one now. of those classic, um, he wouldn't know about it. But I'm up for anything. Let's have a look, see. Shall we? <gasps> oh my god. Holy shit, hide! Quick, club that goateed man. Uh, Kaiser, um, we were told 
Just, just FYI, we were told by Paul, uh, Ryan's father, we were told by Paul that it was uh, his janitor, his custodian, who uh, is none too smart, but definitely wanted the DVD back. That's what we were told. Clearly, yes, clearly it was, it was, yeah. Oh, this is wild. This is wild. Yeah, like over the fence, or not around the fence. It's 11 p.m. I noticed you get a... <laughs> Hang on, I'm going to do my best Jenks impression. Uh, I noticed you've got a little uh, delivery. Uh, can I tell me anything about it? Ever seen one of these? <laughs> this is my left hand and this is my right hand. Oh, I'm sorry, James. Did I interrupt you unboxing something? It's unlikely James would know about the Atlas Locked Mirror Room. He definitely wouldn't know about the money. Bullshit! He knows all sorts of things. What is this? Oh, so now we have to just leave his house and go rummage around? Oh my god. Thank you very much, Graspy Loot. I thought so. I'm pretty good at impressions. I'm not really, but... Okay, well, we're just gonna go check around outside your house, I guess. Look at the greenhouse! Oh god, I would hate that. Honestly, Crosshair, I would hate it. Just horrible. Why can't I ask him about the delivery? We're asking him about everything else he's doing with his life. Ah, ah, ah! Shoe boxes. Of drugs? Are they drugs? So James is interested in poppy pods, is he? I think he's got some explaining to do. Holy shit! Sorry, I'm not exactly the most um, up-to-date on uh, drugs. I leave that for, you know, the narcotics division. But, uh, sorry, correct me if I'm wrong here. Aren't poppy pods used to make heroin? Or perhaps other opioids? Oh my god, is he making the m morphine thing? Big gap there. Parcel Force? <laughs> uh, Neon, I was trying to figure out what on earth that title meant. That's great. Right, yeah, like op opioids, right? What are you making opioids for? Oh, it's not the chemist or the GP. It's, um, James is making the drugs in this town. Oh my god, he's making the drugs in this town. Everyone's in on it, and I couldn't be happier. I'm just gonna arrest the whole town! <laughs> so, tell me about the poppy ones. Can you tell me uh, I don't know anything about plants, James. We've been through this. In the greenhouse back there. Feel free to take some if you want. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Uh, Decoration? Why? Ah, sorry. Decoration. It's a big market for them among the over-70s. Very so what good. Are you doing with good them? answer. Selling them? To grannies. Uh, okay, James, let's just cut to the chase. Are you extracting opium from them? Me? I can honestly say I've never done anything like that, Inspector. Sure about that. Scouts on him. And who was the guy delivering? Uh, a friend. Wow. Someone gave them to him. He asked me if I wanted them. I said I'd have a look and see if I liked them. You just thought you'd have a look? No particular reason? I'm a plant scientist. That's what I do. Have you ever sold them to anyone else? I only got them a few minutes ago. In the past. You know Kate's body had opium in the blood when it was found? No, I, You know no, Kate's I mean, body had opium in the body. Hey, hey that's nothing to do with me. Are we sure? I hope not. Oh, sorry, everyone. Okay, so none of this is correct. Um, never extracted opium from the pods. Uh, something, something, something... Uh, doesn't grow. Oh, well, no, no, hang on. Oh, it doesn't grow any other drugs. Oh, well, that's fine. This is such, look, look at this roller coaster of a, hang on, I'm gonna. <laughs> Granny's love decorations. <laughs> My grand love decorations. That's how she died. Jones is really in it now. <laughs> I just want to read you these notes. Tell me if this does not sound like the work of a crazed mind. Uses salvia for meditation. Doesn't grow any other drugs. Sold salvia to Liam. Third Eye were a local cult and slave traders. Wait, what? Claims Third Eye killed Liam? Whoa, that's just, that's just great. Never went to a Third Eye meeting. Well, no, of course not. Because they're a local cult and slave traders. What is happening? <laughs> oh my god, Neon. 
I think we're going to see some hot fuzz situation up in here, which is, of course, a, a famous film from the 1930s in which um, someone investigating a town happened upon a creepy murder cult and then died because he didn't have a partner to back him up. Okay, uh, well, he's got you, Striker. No, he does not. I will not be helping Jenks out of this. There's got to be something in this. There's got to be. Oh, oh, selling the pods to pensioners. Uh, uh, um. Doesn't grow any other drugs. Sold salvia to Liam. No, it's not. Well, I'll try it, I guess, but it doesn't really. Pods from a friend. Yeah, that was pretty funny. <laughs> you ever sold them? Well, I only got them a few minutes ago. No, you never sold them before, asshole. Come on. Don't be deliberately thick. K -k -k. Pods from a friend who didn't want them never extracted opium from the pods. Oh, so you're just selling them then. Ah. Thank you. Probably be back later. I just don't understand. Like, well, no, I do understand, of course. James is a botanist. Or as he calls himself, a plant scientist, which, like, come on, you probably would not call yourself that. Um, oh, and Rebecca's the plant lady, so maybe we should ask her about it. Hello, plant lady. Um, please, plant person. Um, so James is receiving the shipments of um, raw materials to make drugs. Uh, he, as a botanist, is able to process them. He makes drugs. The drugs are then, he then sells them to Simon. Simon then takes them to Atlas. Atlas then uses them to commit terrible fraud and just just exploit their students. And then they kill anyone who happens upon it. Boom. Problem solved. <laughs> ask you a couple more things. <laughs> Every year. I have to ask. What do you know about poppy pods? Go on. Ever come across anyone trying to go on? Well, it was a question, like so I'm not gonna. Maybe even in here. <sighs> not that I remember. Oh. Well, 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 well. Um. Do, 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 do. Uh, yeah. Exactly. Used to grow salvia years ago. It's a hallucinogenic. Doesn't take any drugs. Well, okay, first and foremost. Oh, right, but... Of course, the prescriptions are not for you. They're for Ryan, so that's fine. Uh, chemist gives them too many. Can I just highlight this as a contradiction? Best not to ask Rebecca about it. Um, never seen anyone... Neon, neon. It's only been five hours. How often do you change your clothes? Every hour on the hour. Well, shit, Neon, I didn't know that. <laughs> Never seen anyone buying or selling the pods. <sighs> the pods. I just... There's so many paths to go down and I feel like we're losing them. We're not going to be able to figure out why Ryan is lying about the band he never auditioned for. Clearly he meant, like, clearly he's, you know, Ryan said, oh, I auditioned for a band many years ago. Uh, something Stone, uh, something Stone. Clearly he's hiding the fact that he glommed onto Blackstone. But we're never going to be able to confront him about that. That's fair, Pukujutsu. Oh, he shouldn't be mixing. Yikes. Um, doesn't know anything about them. That's all for the moment. Thank you. All right. Simon, I'm hoping, so, well, we don't actually know that, Crosshair. Before we go, uh, just have a quick check behind the pub. Before we uh, go back to Paul, we are going to have to confront the rest of the people, because I have a feeling um, at midnight on the, no on the nose, um, just a few more questions. I have a feeling mind. at midnight on the nose, uh, Paul's going to try to drink our blood. Strange question. Have you ever known of anyone selling dried poppy pods? 
Poppy pods. Um, don't think so. Isn't that okay? Got a pint. Wait for the whole thing to blow over. <laughs> it's okay. I'm gonna talk to your boyfriend now. Well, no, no, but opium in this town. I don't think that's. Be back later on if that's okay. Simon wouldn't know about the money. Are you effing sure? Odd question. But have you ever seen anyone handling dried poppy pods? Poppy pods? As in for opium? No. Though James did have opium tea once, I think. Where did he get it from? Oh, I don't know. I didn't ask. James does his own thing. What does opium tea taste like? Well, I don't know. I didn't try it. Oh. Really? I didn't want to risk it, did I? But I went to hospital once. Uh, I, I had codeine and I went into anaphylactic shock. Holy shit. The doctor said it was um, an opium derivative. Okay, so. time out. Clearly the the, 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 the mystery here is un, is unfolding. It was meant to unfold in such a way that we were we had to discover that he took morphine with Kate before he out flat out makes up some bullshit about codeine ridiculous he definitely does lemon eater also hello lemon eater yeah exactly what the what like like shouldn't these have come in the other order i guess that would also be just as ridiculous but then but then he would he would have been like oh, i'm not allergic it's true i lied before i i actually you know like what is this uh okay it was the mirror room. Aha. Can't wait to see how this goes down. You and Kate took morphine in the mirror room. That's what you said, isn't it? Yeah. But you're allergic to opiates, Simon. Opium. You didn't take the morphine at all, did you? <gasps> Gasp. Well, no. No, I didn't. Kate did, though. Oh, so he I is allergic to, to opiates. <laughs> each other. That was the point, wasn't it? Weird. We weren't trying to outdo each other... As a such. You were hired by Atlas to... Okay. <sighs> Ryan wanted me to test Kate. To see how far she would go to be sorry, the candidate. The what? I'm sorry, the what? Candidate? Prime candidate. It, it means the best person in the group. The place. best person who then Test. gets murdered and drowned in the pairs. lake? Is that, uh, is that what you're looking One for? person's the tester. It's me. And the other person's the... Testee. Victim. Well, it's Testee. not like that. <laughs> It's completely consensual. <laughs> it's just boundary testing. I didn't, mm, Ryan mm, wanted me to test Kate. Oh, the candidate's going to get possessed by Satan. Well, maybe Perfect. I, I don't know. Oh, sorry. I, I just did about what I was person. told, okay? Except you decided to give her morphine to break the law. <laughs> well, I can't change Clearly that people now, don't care about the law in this town. She didn't die of a morphine overdose, did she? Um, she died because she drowned. But she drowned... Reasons that aren't clear. Atlas seemed to have this all neatly worked out. If uh, Simon's telling much, the truth, Atlas are lighting the fuse and then retiring to a safe distance, letting students test themselves and push themselves to their limits while avoiding all comeback. Is this what happened to Kate? Oh, cat. All right. Exactly, exactly, Aragorn. Thank you. Probably I just want to check in with Emma because I imagine, she, well, she might not have anything to say about it, but she's. Do you know what a prime candidate is at Atlas? Yes, it's um, what every student wants to be. It's the best student. Apparently, you get a great high-paid job afterwards. I don't think a that A great really high-paid you know job. Anyone in the running to be prime candidate? Yeah, Kate, oh, Liam. <gasps> oh my God. I don't think they picked Simon to be honest. Burn. Well, he's got too many morals, and you can't have both at Atlas. Oh. Oh. That was great. Well, these morals are incompatible with Atlas. Did you ever say anything? We're gonna go to Ryan. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. I just—that's such a wild thing to say. Devils of Worship at Atlas, but they don't like morals much there. What in the F is going on? Oh, horrible. Um, Third Eye has stopped its abusive tactics, but... Yeah, I know, exactly, Aragorn. Hey, hey, who, oh, hey. Uh, doll burning. The Atlas. 
Okay, uh, that's fine. But we'll be back you. later. Thank you very much. It's been it's been a real slice. Gumshoes, you know what time it is. It's time for a walk down the woodsy lane, woodsy lane, woodsy lane, down the going down the woodsy lane. As soon as nothing to find in the woodsy lane. Uh, I'm not much of a singer, Gumshoes. You'll have to excuse me. Is there much to find in the woodsy lane? Are the men still there stabbing each other in the woodsy lane? Nope. <laughs> Anyone at Atlas? Atlas tonight. Atlas is a cult. It's a Satan cult. <laughs> this has been a wild ride, and it is coming up to midnight. Hello, Mr. Ryan. Things, Maybe some more car keys. Oh, hi. Yeah, go for it, cat. You you head on up there. You do everything your heart tells you to do. All right. Well, know anything Another about bond? poppy pods? Come across anyone selling them or anything? Poppy pods? <laughs> well, don't tell anyone, Inspector. But I hear that you can make opium out of those. Why do you ask? Doesn't matter. <laughs> hmm. I, I don't know why, but I think I just got tricked. <laughs> Mistridge, I know it's awful. I mean, it's not awful. It's it's a totally valid line of detective work. Um, quick, sorry, quick uh, quick shift happening here, uh, Gumshoes. I thought I kept this thing on auto, but I did not to. Just gonna change something there. Oh no, it's fine. All right, okay. Here we go. <clears throat> yes, we absolutely can, Aragorn. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> um. Now, tell me what a prime candidate is. I've learned everything. You're learning a lot, aren't you, Inspector? <laughs> Prime yes. candidates are simply the best students, the ones with the most potential. And what benefits do they get from that? Well, they get the top job. Which is? Yeah, well, what is that? We have a deal with various multinationals. This shithole? I don't think so. We students to be exceptional, no truly exceptional. And they get a wonderful top job. It seems a very simple deal. Yikes. And how do you decide who the prime candidate is? Do you test students? No. Did you ever, say, ask Simon to test Kate, for instance? Oh, you've actually been speaking to Simon, haven't you? I really wouldn't trust anything that Simon Thompson says. You know, Excuse he me? spent the best part of two months trying to undermine Kate. No, no, no. no whoa, no. buddy, whoa. Uh, Simon Thompson, uh, it really isn't my place to speculate, but uh, if you're looking for motives, Inspector, uh, he certainly had a few motives. I, uh, more than I. It's weird that you'd bring a yourself into this. Her, do you mean? Now, that's very interesting, Inspector. Well, that's up to you to decide. Seems like a really odd thing to bring into the fold here. Never asked Simon to test Kate. Simon has been trying to undermine Kate. So, uh, Aragwen, uh, we can go through his responses. Uh, I'm not going to go all the way through. Um, but I think there's... Actually, it's for the evidence in the court, but... But Simon rides a bicycle. My God. Bird in cage. He's seen students. Just the coarse ones. Okay, all right, okay. Oh, God, just the coarse ones. Oh, my God. Okay, this is going to take forever. Uh, uh, okay, hang on. Uh, this mask uh, symbol's not used on the course. First poster, Atlas name was picked randomly. No, it was not. Yeah, can we not talk to him or do something about it? We. This is the problem, Zen. I can't confront him with evidence if I if he didn't say it. For some reason, all of our police work is based entirely on contradictions that one person said. Well, exactly, but we can't we can't get that to him for some reason. Yes, it is, Lemonita. Words I would never hope to hear in the same sentence. Okay. Um, Liam seemed happy. Okay. Ryan invented the phrase. It was invented while based at Village Hall. That's where we're going to head. Ryan has a background in psychology. Okay. Um, Third Eye. Atlas was formerly Third Eye. Uh, doll burning. 
The students carry the dolls, plays the guitar, a hammerstone, lol. Why what, Araben? Why what? Just proved why. Incredible. Huh? I like it. I, I also just, I want to read these through. Claims that auto-hypnosis is not a major part of the course. I mean, I mean, students aren't coerced or bribed in any way. No. What? It's just that it was a little incentive. Aha. Uh -huh. So. Students aren't coerced or bribed in any way. Except Kate. I'm not sure what you mean. You said you were going to give Good answer. Pounds Keep him talking. He turns into a pumpkin at midnight, That's so you can just... isn't it? I really don't think you could call it coercion, Inspector. Well... It was an incentive. That's all. A little encouragement. So, how often do you use incentives? Okay, incentive is probably the wrong word. The money was just to see how Kate would respond. It was part of her assessment. Assessment? We have to assess students as they progress. We d we don't use conventional methods like sitting an exam Sorry, or anything like that. Sorry, is an assessment sort of a, a way for, for this testing? course per session. We have to know if they're committed or not. So you're assessing their progress and testing their commitment? Yes, we are. We have to. This is a this guy doesn't get it, hey? He just doesn't get that we're, we're so trying to Ryan's catch him in a line. claiming the money was part of Kate's assessment. And did this assessment also involve threshold testing, I wonder? Or was the money for something else? Okay, well... So, Ryan proved why you can't quiz people about what others have said. Because... Because of the lying, right? Okay, okay. Um, Ryan said students aren't tested. Um... Mm, where is it? No. Ah! Okay, well... I suppose it's an aptitude test. It's not, just because it has the word test in it. It is! It's under the auto-hypnosis. Pew! Oh. Wait, no, hang on. Not this. Wait. Doesn't... Gave Kate the money to test slash assess her. Students are not tested. What do we got? Aha. What do we got? Well, which one is it, Ryan? Do you test students? Or this, not? this, well, guys... Some of them, yes. Including Kate? Yes! Why was she being tested? She was being I'm tested going to because this at you. <gasps> because we wanted to see if she was good enough to become prime candidate. Okay. So Kate was <laughs> in the running to be prime. Did everyone candidate. see that? Yes. And did I'm you? I'm gonna I'm gonna replay this in a second. To test her? Yes, I did. But I didn't ask him to do anything stupid. He knew it was against course rules. How far did you ask him to push her? I Sploosh! didn't ask him to push her. I'm not gonna play it again. I <laughs> asked him to test her. There's a huge difference. Wow, this man is angry. If Simon decided to give her too much Whoa. caffeine or morphine or whatever, that's his responsibility. Definite Tim Curry. So if he did anything wrong, it was his own responsibility. He did it with his own mind and his own hand. We had nothing to do with it. Caffeine or morphine, you decide. Oh, but it's midnight. Midnight and still no suspect. Unless you count everyone I've interviewed, it's no surprise that Ryan wants to avoid any suggestion of being responsible for Kate's death. But I wonder if the man protests just a little too much. Oh, that was so good. Ryan gave Kate information that Kate was in the running to become the prime candidate. Okay, well, we have to go see. Oh, this is so wild. What a crazy time. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm trying to solve a mystery over here, you big cutie. What are you doing? You want to come in the? You want to come in the shot or what? Nah, you're cute. Splishy, splashy. Ugh, he was so angry, and then he just put the glass down so daintily. Oh my gosh. All right. This has been. We. Simon would have been jealous of Kate. Simon also potentially could have been jealous of Liam for the same reason. 
right? That they were the prime candidates and he wasn't. It's very possible. Um, Paul probably has something to say about this. Oh, God, I don't want to talk to Paul right away. I probably should talk to Simon. Yeah, you, no, you're right. You're right. We're going. Well, hello, Couple more questions, man. Oh, there's going to be a lot. Oh, boy. We start with the poppy pods. That's an easy one. What do you, know about you don't poppy eat pods? poppy pods. How about blood packs, huh? Poppy pods. Ever come across anyone selling them, using them? <laughs> yeah. That alcohol cost me eighty-five million dollars. <laughs> what are prime candidates? <laughs> the best of the bunch, the peaches. Please don't say peach. Please do and not so say peach ever again. That's horrible. To be a prime candidate. Success. We have a special relationship with many major international companies. Vague. We've I like it. Them with our best students. Wait, job. James thought that. Get out of it. Oh, it's a little kickback. Oh, gross. Just business, Inspector. Gross, absolute filth. Um, James thought that Third Eye, and by extension Atlas, uh, well, even though he didn't say so, were literally enslaving students and shipping them off to business people. Now what they're saying is, in fact, <laughs> very good. Uh, now what they're saying is that, oh my god, they seek out talent and then sell them to corporations. Hmm. <laughs> I think we've broken Aragorn. Now, why do you think Ryan... <sighs> Don't put your hands on it, Jinx! Oh, Jinx. I really no idea. Oh, interesting. Where did you find it? <laughs> <laughs> That's mm. better ask him. Do you think Ryan was interested romantically in Kate? I know he has a weakness for blondes, but I didn't think it had gone so Disgusting. far as his offering them cash. Quick timeout. Kate was not blonde. Uh, real quick. Yeah, uh, uh, blondes, and she's very clearly not blonde. Um, can, yeah, how do we, how do we, oh my god, how do we... How, how do I ask him? Oh my god! Paul, what color is this woman's hair? It's blonde. My god, what's wrong with you? I, Kung Fu Fenders, I agree. He is easily the greatest actor in this. Oh my god, how do I... Uh, um. Also, what? What? I, is, is Rebecca his wife even blonde? Can somebody... Um... Yeah. Uh, well, we have to ask her about the prime candidate thing as well. 500 pounds for a blonde wig. Costume shops. Boom. Sorry. Was Kate yelling prime again. Candidate Gum shoes. We're doing well, great. As Ryan has probably already told you, yes, she was. <gasps> Did you ask Simon to test her? Yes, it's company policy. Leaders don't get involved. And it covers your back, of course. Well, nobody knows the students better than they do, Inspector. Okay. It's much better to let them just work it out among themselves. So you let it them kill each other. It's professional to force students to test each other to the point where one of them gets killed, Paul. We don't force students to do anything that they don't want to do, Inspector. So you don't force them into being tested? No. We don't encourage anybody to hurt or offend anybody else here. So those are you very specifically the words. Yeah, no. Exactly. If Simon Thompson went too far with Kate, that's Tom his Spoon. responsibility, not ours. He's the Tom one who should Spawn. be speaking to, if truth be told. I don't trust him myself. They're really quick to throw Simon under the bus. Blondes. Simon is blonde. Oh, my God. Ryan. What? Excuse me. Don't use threshold testing. Students are not encouraged to hurt each other. Leaders don't get involved in testing students. None of this is true. Obviously, none of this is true. Yeah, okay. Um, hang on. Let's let's go find it. This is all BS. What about the mirror room? -da! Well, the mirror room is used for meditation. You see. The threshold before sleep. The CD. 
Oh, sh uh, was it though? Aha. Uh -huh. I guess. Oh, it did. It very you specifically used the words. You're right, Eric. Good memory. This is why I write things down. Phrase, but I can't yes. read, so how am I supposed to refer to my notebook? Because you told me that the students use that CD in the mirror. This man is going to rip I've Jenks head off. CD, like just straight up. Clearly mentions Absolutely. Testing. You keep batting this away, Paul. We don't really use hypnosis. The students aren't really tested. But I am this close. To launching a full-scale investigation. Look, we get what was this? From these students, and they have to be exceptional. This wasn't a full investigation. That doesn't mean we do anything illegal. What do you think we do? Bump off the ones we don't like? Well, that yes. On how far you push them, doesn't it? <laughs> Very specifically. Don't kill them. Nobody here wanted Kate dead. I'm sure they didn't. But what do you expect, Paul, when you put students under that? We much don't pressure? do anything she was illegal. Very, very valuable student. She was worth a lot to the business. Really. And how much would that be? Five hundred pounds. Fifty grand. She was worth fifty grand. Yes. What you were selling her? Of course we were selling her. You don't get this, do you? We make perfect employees. Month after month. <laughs> yeah, Mister. I don't get why you wouldn't what do you come mean, in to research a murder. Employees. What big business needs, Inspector, more than anything else, is none of this altruistic. Goody goody crap. Goody goody what crap. We look for is people with ambition. No ethics. Push. Greed is good. All right. We don't deal. I really got under his skin somehow. Stuff. The survival of the fittest. That's all there is. There's no higher purpose, no big plan. There's nothing at the end of the rainbow. Yikes. Except what you have and you can enjoy. Then true. <laughs> and what do you enjoy? Ripping your head off, drinking your blood. Come on, the occult. Oh my God, he's smiling. You're gonna have to excuse me, Inspector. I'm a very busy man. I've got work to do. It's a really strange response to that question. I'll see myself out. Man, your father. Shut the gate on your way out. Oh, well, now they're communicating. That's good. Oh my God! Yes, yes. Get rid of him. We can't just. Okay, so that's a threat. That's a threat of death. He's threatening a police officer. Kyle. 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 Just straight up. You take care of him. That's a threat of death. And then plausible deniability. I said take care of him. I didn't say kill him. <clears throat> That doesn't sound Jenks, good. run! Two totally morally bankrupt men are plotting to get rid of me. It's midnight. I don't have any backup, and I don't even have a mobile phone. This is potentially quite bad. What's Kyle got to do with it? Now, I think I might make my way over to Atlas while Ryan isn't there. Maybe lock myself in. Oh, that would be good. But no, clearly, I... I sorry, not clearly. I just... I'm pretty sure what they're talking about. Okay. Quick, quick thought here, Gumshoes. I just want to put this out there. If any of you are ever in the situation where you're being pursued by two all-powerful and or undead and or cult leader types, and you don't have a mobile phone, and you're an investigator but you have no backup, and it's almost or just past midnight in a small English village, call your chief. Um, just call somebody. Just, just call somebody please. Now, see, I'm not going to call somebody because that would be cheating, apparently. We're going to talk to Simon and Emma real quick. It's after midnight. Do you think they'll be? I am the backup. We do, Aragwen, we do, but I don't, th I don't, so quick, quick by the by in terms of how these things work, I don't think we're supposed to use it, which is wild. Because if you use it, it's sort of a hint system, and you're not supposed to use it for that purpose. Now, perhaps in this moment, they're trying to tell us Hey, Jenks, maybe you should, you know, just call for backup here. I don't know. Yeah. 
questions, please. <laughs> it's midnight. Uh, it's midnight. So you know is that. Kate was in the running. Pay phones? Am I allowed to not? I don't, but I do think she would have been chosen, just because she was. Seriously, Methodial, I'm no, with you on Kate. that one. You didn't discuss it with Kate. What does that no. mean? No, she never what does that mean? She was Kate. I thought everybody said she was a lousy, happy drunk. Thinks Kate would have been chosen. Based on what? Oh my Thank god. Thank you. Probably be back later. <clears throat> Hello, Simon. Well, I think we have something to ask you about. How do you think you'd have reacted Kate Prime. if you'd found out that Kate had been chosen to be prime candidate? Boop, boop, that... boop, 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 boop. I'm oh. just asking how you think you'd react. I don't know. I wouldn't react in any way, really. I'm, I'm not bothered. Right pig cookie jar. She was, though. Right piggy. That. But it's just an impression I got. You know, she's a bit flaky, to be honest. Oh. It's just I don't want to talk really to your girlfriend about that. Candidate material. <laughs> so. Uh, she'd been asked to be tested, but you don't think that Kate. That's not really a contradiction, I suppose. Okay, well, these have all been disproven. I guess we're uh, going to the... Moment. Thank you. I guess we're... <laughs> we're going... We're going to the Atlas, folks. And I guess we're just gonna hope we don't get locked in with a murder cult. <gasps> oh, no! I suppose it was too much to hope that Ryan had left the place... Oh, no! Place. What do we do? Yeah, I agree, Aragorn. I, I actually totally agree. How about this mysterious clearing? Oh, <laughs> Holy shit. Prove to me that you're man enough to do this, Kyle. And then you can deal with that ridiculous police inspector. Yeah, get in there. Yes! What the hell? Scotland Yard. Not hell. Inspecting. What a terrible so, uh, line! Come on. Let's have it. I don't think you'd understand, Inspector. The best thing that you can do is turn around, go away, and leave us to it. He's no. literally about to what? That knife gives me a perfect right to stick my nose in, just do it and interfere. <laughs> this is all part of the Atlas course. It's a physical. She's literally exercise. fighting for her life right now. Do something. <laughs> the knife, Kyle. Kyle. Drop it. Uh, also, can I see that knife really quick? Is that a real knife? Can I see it? Do you mind? Not looking 100% brilliant for you, Ryan. Oh, please, Inspector, you've poked your nose into Atlas's affairs enough times to know... Sup, Cheeky C. We're just dealing with a quick success. little rural Atlas murder cult. Don't worry about it. We're doing well. Unique emotional experience. <laughs> Terror? <clears throat> it's an extremely evocative tool. Uh, it's a good job you're not in charge of the national curriculum. Well, she doesn't want to be embarrassed, Eric Wynn. I, I got held up by Kyle. I know what you're thinking. But believe me, Atlas had nothing to do with So when you said, go people. deal with the inspector. I witnessed account of a satanic sacrifice in the woods. That's not what we call circumstantial Also, who was that Ryan? man that directed her, him here? Who was that? I saw Simon. It could have been anybody. Kate last Friday after the meeting. Now, Simon had some strange idea that he was in the running to become prime candidate. <laughs> oh, oh point. Has more chance of becoming prime minister. No, oh, wait. So are you telling me... That wait. Simon killed her. Well, it seems reasonable. It's likely, isn't it? More likely. Oh, Crosshair, you missed the... Oh, shoot. How long have you been gone? Oh, no. Crosshair. Pig! <gasps> Punch him! Yes! No. Okay, you slapped him. <laughs> Smack! I know. Okay. Police brutality. We're not gonna take... We're not gonna find out who that is. We're not gonna... Nothing, eh, Jenks? Nope. Nothing. You're not gonna ask who that was? What? 
Jenks. You don't even want to know who that was? Oh my god. Let's take a witness statement. Oh, whoops. Nothing doing. I like to do my best thinking at the jetty. Just kidding. Oh, Crosshair. I'll give you the Coles note. Oh, actually, actually. Whoops. I just want you to see the beginning of this. That's, uh, Eric Kaiser is actually 100% correct. Like, first of all, who is this? Why does he have a torn leather jacket? What's going on? Who is that man? I just want you to see this. The saddest, cheapest satanic ritual I have ever seen in my life. And I have seen quite a few. It was just an attempted murder. <laughs> Thank you, Graspy Loot. I'm so... What the hell? Scotland Yard. Not hell. Hello, Ryan. Yay! <laughs> And then they just yap back and so, uh, forth for a while. Come on. Because exactly. even though no, she's about to die. Inspector, the best thing that you can do is turn around, go away. That's all. That's all we're going to watch. Oh my goodness gracious. Not hell, Scotland Yard. <laughs> oh. Oh, Graspy Loot. I am so happy to hear that. I really am actually, I have to say. Yeah, it's true. It would have been end of the line for this police investigation. Where's Jenks? Ah, he tripped and fell on this knife. You know, that actually seems entirely possible. <laughs> I'll ask you a Gotta talk to you. Please. Also, can I use your phone? I think we're being attacked Did by... Did Simon mention walking okay. home with anyone after the meeting last Friday? No, he just came home. Why? He yeah. didn't mention walking home with Kate. No, definitely not. How many of you guys didn't even know Be Kate? Later on, if that's this okay. is the crazy part. Neon. Let's list, shall we? Uncontrolled fires in a woodland. Bad move. Looks pretty dry out there. Conspiracy to murder, for sure. That was heard. No physical evidence, but that's okay. Um, carrying a fixed blade in public. Yep. Then, not taking that girl to an A&E ward. Taking a name. Asking for a witness statement. No. He's only one man, Neon Deflector. What do you want him to do? All right, here we go. What would you say if I said it's been suggested... <laughs> what would you say if I heard from somebody out in a satanic ritual? last Friday. Sorry. What? By who? Gotta go. The same person who suggested that you wanted Kate out of the picture because <gasps> you found out she was in the running to be prime candidate. Who said that? Just a question. I didn't think I was in the running. It was Ryan, wasn't it? I am in no position to say. Ryan clearly Ryan. is trying to throw Ryan Simon under the down. bus here. No, I can prove it. Kate's driving license, give it to me. Okie dokie. Kate's driving license, please. Oh, peel back a secret sticker, come on. Oh no, the sticker. See that pattern on the tape there? Yeah. Let me show you something. Oh. Okay. What the son of a... See this pattern? Not like that. It's the same pattern. This... Come from the same oh my god, this. physical, actual evidence. So there's only one person who has tape like that. I mean a little, not Ryan. really, but you know. There's only you one person who has tape like that. I was in his office once. Why has Kate's driving license got a piece of Ryan's tape on Hey, it? stop asking. I'm asking asked the questions answer. here. I'm the inspector. Oh, by the leg. That's obvious, isn't it? Ryan was testing Yeah, seriously. Her. What he the hell? He was doing a boundary test to see how much he would do, how far she would go. I hope I get to, to accuse somebody candidate. at the end of all this because Ryan's oh, going straight to jail. Um, <laughs> and so is Paul. Okay. Uh, because Paul specifically said, quote, we don't right, respect the law. something that's important to you to someone Hey, else. Lemonade are very nice. And they go and hide it somewhere. It's to teach you to not be bothered when you lose something that's important to you, all right? Kate... Gives her driving license to Ryan. Uh -huh. Ryan goes and hides it somewhere down the lake. Uh -huh. Kate finds out. She uh -huh. goes down looking for it. Probably drunk. Yeah, high on morphine, yes, that you gave in. to her. Yes, that's right. <sighs> I'm afraid I find that a bit far-fetched, Simon. Oh, that's a bit far-fetched. sense if you know anything at all about how Atlas works. But Simon, if you got the tape from Ryan, Kate could have got it from him. He told me he doesn't lend it out. He lent it to you. But I didn't kill her! Do a lab test on the card! His DNA will be all over it. 
And what if yours is all over it? <laughs> it won't be. I didn't kill her. I'm sorry. Just, just, just give me a minute. I need, I need some painkillers. Opium? Opiates? Opiates that you're allergic to? Is that opiates? <laughs> and he's running away. Okay. Yes. Yes, Jinx. Follow your instincts. Go and just... Yep. Uh, that is true. He just ran, eh? He just totally ran. Full on. Straight up, he's out. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty bright for midnight. Where did he go in such a hurry? Is he trying to act as suspiciously as possible? Okay, so he... He went to Atlas, which we're gonna go and... <laughs> whoops! Oh, but what... Maybe we should go and talk to our good friend... Emma. Nah, it's fine. Uh, right, further. Whoop. Going back to the clearing. Oh, come on. Simon. You can't hide forever. <laughs> oh. Oh, of course. He went to the, 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 the village hall. <laughs> Hello. Son of a gun. Um... Village center? Yeah, we saw it on... Yeah, we saw it on Kate's... Oh! Do you mean another person has it? J James? Who would have tape like that? Behind the pub? Holy sh... Uh, Ryan said he told Rebecca to fix it, so... She might have used his tape. No? Broken pub window. Um, blah, 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 blah. Taped over it to make it safer. Told Rebecca to tape over it. Okay. So I guess we just go and ask her about it then? Yeah, let's ask Rebecca. You know what? <laughs> she seems trustworthy. Hello again. We definitely did. You you are 100% correct, Aragwen. Midnight, still nobody here. Why are you still open? It's a, uh, I suppose pubs are open quite late, that's true. Kaiser, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Distracted? You I'll show you... Oh, you hey. Don't mind. So... Uh, we're not going to... I guess we should ask about those things, but I think we need to ask about Have the tape. Have you seen patterned tape like this anywhere before? Oh, Ryan's got some. I know, because I borrowed it. When was that? A couple of months ago. Oh, what? Have you still got it? Big lie! I don't think so. I haven't seen it since then. Oh. Graspy Loot, I think he was also a prime candidate, and they offed him, or somebody offed him for some reason. Ooh, dinner service till three. Now that's nice. Uh, last saw the tape approximately two months ago, and uh, there's uh, something, something, window, broken pub window, taped over it. There you uh, go. Huh. <laughs> oh, Liam was 100% supposed to be saw that sticky tape two months ago. Is that correct? Yes. yes. So how come you used it last week to tape over the broken window outside? Because I forgot to tape. That's the same tape. She, she well, could just see mistaken. Very good. Good answer. See, the reason I'm asking is that it's exactly the same Ooh, tape that was found that. attached to Kate's going, driving going heavy on it, eh? found at the scene. Oh, the boy. tape that only Ryan has. <gasps> Ryan, and of course, you. <gasps> so what are you saying? That you He's killed her! The tape now. Do you know where it is? No. Oh. No, I don't know where it is. Why are you asking me about this tape? You seem nervous, Rebecca. Is there a problem? <laughs> Yeah, you're weirding me out, and you've been visiting me a hundred times. Accusing me of having something to do with that woman's murder, aren't you? I yes. I wasn't accusing you of anything, Rebecca. Unless there's something you. This like guy to tell is the you. worst no, interrogator. I'm not going to tell you anything. Okay, well that's fine. Obviously, uh, we'll be swabbing everyone in the area for DNA. So if anything comes up on Kate's license, DNA traces. What'll come up? Nothing will come up. But I've had enough. I've got to get back. Rebecca. Would you like to explain to me exactly 
what is going on. Please. Wait, also, hello, Captain Dad. I agree. It's very particular husband. tape, I think is what they're getting at. Oh, sorry, what? I think you had better tell me what you know, Rebecca. Get her into witness protection! Okay. I promise no you one will put a bag over your head. Kate Vine seduced my husband and was going to blackmail Oh, him. so you know that. Not only did she sleep with him, that whore did it just for his money. Oh. Our money. Oh, okay. How did you work that out? I heard her. I knew it was her arguing with the Emma Bowman. Emma was trying to talk her out of it. And how did she come to be at the lake? Ooh. She dropped that driving license thing when she came in. She, she was drunk. She dropped her bag. I took it out to the woods and stuck it over the lake. And then I waited for her. <gasps> when she came out, I I told her where it was that someone had just run off into the woods with it. You led her to the lake. She was reaching out over the lake to get it. This is not where I expected this to go. In. But you let her drown. <gasps> It was dark. I, I couldn't see anything. I couldn't help her. Really? Yikes. Did you try, Rebecca? Well, it was too late. She was just flapping about in the water. It was pathetic. She was making these oh, down and so They put all the and sociopaths in the same village. I got a big stick. Psychopaths, whatever. Pushed her down with it until she stopped. <laughs> well, she was dead anyway. What did it matter? What? You killed her, Rebecca. And she slept with my husband. She didn't, Rebecca. <gasps> What do you mean? Yeah, what do you mean? You got the wrong girl. Ooh, why would you say that? Oh no! Emma. Oh no! It was Emma. Now we gotta put Emma in witness protection. Rebecca Round. Oh no! For the murder of Kate. Hey, uh, Crosshair, you know. You don't have to say anything, but anything you do say may be taken down and will be used in evidence against you. Oh my god, this is wild. Ooh, are there multiple different possibilities? Did Is it yes. possible that different people killed her depending on the timeline or whatever? I just pushed her down so, a little bit. It appears that Kate Vine's death was a tragic case of mistaken wow. identity. Hello, Dio. But there are Hello, everybody. Threats here. Yes, there what sure are. What was I doing with Kyle and that girl in the woods? What if I hadn't interrupted? And what really happened to Liam last year? I don't know, but who is that man? The surface of Atlas and Who does that mean there's more to research? Trying Perhaps to we'll go back at 6 p.m. the next day. Past is like peering into dense fog. He gives nothing away and covers his tracks with military efficiency. Hey, However, well, wouldn't go that far. What is known is that Paul Rand has a lot of connections in high places. Politicians, celebrities, business leaders. Perhaps James Wilson's ideas weren't too wide of the mark after all. <gasps> I get the feeling. There's still a lot more to learn about the Rand business empire. You don't have to excuse us. Atlas is closed for the moment. But Wait. We'll be open again. Hang on, hang on. Are you telling me that I won't be able to find this out because I went to Rebecca before I went to them? Damn it. Or is this just like a sequel thing? Did I miss it? Did I miss it? Did I make a mistake? <gasps> clap, 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 clap. I think we did it. Congratulations, everybody! Yeah, Aragorn, I don't... Do you think that's what they mean? Wow, starring. <laughs> uh, with, um... <laughs> Ana Rosa de Agui... Esaguire Butler. <laughs> Great. Incredible. I can't believe it. Aragorn, I also can't believe it. Uh, that's not... That, that can't possibly be Liam. Wait. Ripped leather jacket. He's a rock star! It's ridiculous. This is crazy! I, I agree, Crosshair. So, uh, if anybody has any insight into this investigation, I'd love to know. I'm trying to figure out whether or not we could have done more investigating before uh, confronting Rebecca. Or whether or not, whether they're hinting towards a separate investigation, like a sequel or something. Okay, great. Good, good. Thank you very much, Kung Fu Thunderous. Well, that's, um... I don't really know how to say it, but that's very optimistic of them. Okie dokie! Alrighty! <laughs> Some of the conclusions seem a bit leap-worthy. Yeah, Captain Daff, it's, it's a full-on uh, obstacle course over here, just leaping over everything. Wow. Oh, that's disappointing. <laughs> oh. Oh. That was nice. 
Why was Jenks high-fiving Ryan? Unless Jenks was... Oh, thank you very much, Aragwen. Unless Jenks had something to do with it. Well... Oh, damn. Dedicated too. Well, shit. Right. While Fallen would love to make a... Uh, 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 a tiny budget. No shit. Uh... <laughs> He has not so fond memories of the incredibly strenuous effort he put into making the first game. He would need to amass a suitable budget, pay professionals, potential evolution of the series would be... Yeah, okay. Well, yeah. There is a plea. Your support is vital. Okay, yeah, I see it now. I think we're just gonna... I, th I think we're just gonna... Can I... Can I get out of here? Ooh. Um, no! Um, do the Atlas not having a satisfactory... Oh, a conclusion? He didn't like the sequel to draw the story to a close embarking on a grand, brand new investigator well oh no oh yeah oh eviana you missed the oh geez well i didn't i didn't know eviana I, I didn't how are we all to know should we catch you up eviana let us know do you want to know the end or not or you can catch up on the vod just let me know i will tell you before we sign off that is quite something okay eviana very briefly we not that the Atlas thing was the red herring, but. You gonna do something? There we go. Uh, yeah, exactly. So, not that we were gonna find out about the Atlas thing, but they were leading us into finding out more in a sequel, which will never happen. So, the mystery is Rebecca heard all about uh, the argument, thought that Kate was the one who had slept with uh, the her, her husband, uh, so she killed her. Well, sorry. So she led her to the lake and let her fall in and drown. And then just kind of pushed her down a little bit. <laughs> I cannot believe this. There's 65 to 70% of that investigation was for a cult that we're never going to find out more. Oh my god, I'm furious. And I'm excited. Gumshoes, this has been incredible. Today is Saturday, right? Um, yes. Which means that it was a storied Saturday. On Monday, um, stay tuned to your Twitter and your Discord, folks, because I have a feeling there's going to be a new case of the Mondays or just something featuring someone else who's on this channel from time to time. You never know. I've been really enjoying the mysteries here, Gumshoes, but you may see a different face on Monday because, uh, much like Atlas, I love wearing masks or something. Um, tomorrow, 6 p.m., Changeling? Monday, 3 p.m., um, something on this channel, probably. 5 or 6 p.m., mm -hmm. the Coolian on Mondays. Uh, and then stay tuned to Twitter throughout the week. Punchy on Friday for sure. Uh, and, of course, Nancy Drew, Wednesday. If you like a good mystery story, you can't get better than that. What about the sinking city? Ooh. I love running away. Who? What, what are you going to do? Oh, the raspy loot. That's great. I'm sorry to catch up so much on VOD. But today was the, the one to be here for, folks. Ay, yeah, yeah, you're in a lot of our houses. Much like Atlas, I love pig cookie jars. Gumshoes, I'm going to let the PR play out here, and I'll try to put you on some music, actually. Gumshoes, I, you know, I think this is a great lesson for everybody. Um, sometimes it's not about, sometimes it's not about the, the, the mystery. Uh, sorry, sometimes it's not about the mystery. It's always about the mystery. Sometimes, gumshoes, it's not about the conspiracy. Sometimes it's just a case of murder by passion. <laughs> gumshoes, take care of yourselves. Keep your souls out of the mud. And we hope we manage to find you a cure for the Mondays, Saturdays.